An old series that I know nothing about? An old series that you know nothing about from PlayStation. I didn't think those existed. Where's <laughs> they, this been? They do. It's been on PC as well, so I've huh. been able to play Wait, it. I, I own this game. Why haven't I played it? <laughs> well, I'm still not going to play it. You're going to play it. <laughs> I'm going to play it. This will be the first... Uh, stream but this in a is my while. first time seeing it yes this will be the first uh, game in a while that uh, that i have uh, that i'll be playing that you have are blind at the last one was i think lagoon and that didn't end up well this is a better game than lagoon in my there was opinion. lagoon and there was banjo which we stopped because my shitty old laptop couldn't handle the n64 <laughs> maybe it could handle it next time who knows uh let's continue after like five years banjo kazooie part three it would it's yeah <laughs> Let's not do that. Link to the past, part two. All right, let's go. Right, and right, I am good. I'm gonna be checking this stream. Is it showing up? It is showing up. It sounds a little loud to me. Let okay. me see what the stream levels are. We'll like. we'll fix it. We'll I'll fix it uh, when we get into the game. But first, let's watch the watch the cutscene. Yeah, because we'll have like an options menu. So this is Los Alamos, New Mexico. Jesse. Well, the death flag just exploded. Yeah, the game is drowning us out, so we'll just roll quietly watch until we yep. get to an options. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? <laughs> it's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? All right. So, uh, what, what, what did that, uh, what information did that convey to you? All right, I think that's good. Are you still there? Oh shit! Is Discord doing this thing again? Are you there? Oh, I'm, I'm, am I disconnected? <laughs> Damn. I think. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay give me give me one moment i still have the recording going so i'll be able to get back on no internet Sorry about that. Um, uh, I'm okay. My I'm reconnect. It says I'm reconnected. I uh, okay. So was that on your end? I think yeah. It was. It was totally on my end. I had the recording still. Um, okay. When did it drop? Uh, it was when the the lady was like, "Oh, look, doesn't this this look like good for your wallet?" And then Laura Croft revealed that she was Kim Possible. <laughs> okay. No, she. Uh, so. So she basically is like, "Hey, you go to Peru. It's a, uh, it's a uh, really dangerous. You want, you want in here? Uh, reconnect uh, on Parsec. All right, sent request. Okay, let's see if this works. 
Because this does not bode well if the, if I if it craps out again. I'm hoping. It so this doesn't. is the Steam version. This right? is the Steam version. It it's uh, running off of DOSBox. Oh god. Peer to peer connection between you and the other computer failed. Did it really? Wow. Uh, you could share your screen with Discord. Let's try that. that. I easier. You're gonna hear yourself. Is that gonna be all right? Ah, it's it's fine. All right. Oh no, that's. Camera. I don't have a camera. Actually, if you share the OBS window, well, no, then I won't have game audio. Okay. It is also the first time in a very long time streaming from uh, Jack's end, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do 30 frames at 720 and see if that uh, if that's easier. All right, I have game audio. Okay. Gabe? I don't hear myself. Good, good. Now, uh, this game always. So, because this is DOSBox, DOSBox gets weird when I, like... Okay, okay there we so go. So, share your entire... You can share your entire display if you need to as well. No. Uh, can you see it? Is I it can working? see it. I can hear it. Okay, good. Right. So... Shit. You're, I, I, I won't know if I disconnect or not now. Um, you're going to have uh, to... I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. All right. I think, I think I'm good, though. Uh, so, uh, basically... She's like, hey, uh, you want to go do this? Oh, shit, nope. That's a spoiler. Uh, let's just, let's just head to, uh, let's just head to Laura's house. Alright, I'm gonna take one more look at the, uh, the F these are so fucking loud, the, the, the sliders don't do anything for it. <laughs> to my home. That's I'll funny as shit. Okay. You still here? Uh, yeah. We okay, got to good. casual wear Laura. Yes, yeah, so uh, so so I mentioned this uh, off off stream, but this game is like it's it plays very differently to like uh, platformers you're used to. It's uh, very precise. Use the D-pad to go into the music room, and uh, and it uses tank controls for platforming. And you would think this would be the bad? It, oh, or Croc? What? Yeah, but it's it it it'll play a lot better than Croc. It, it actually the game is designed for this as opposed to croc which is which wasn't okay let's do some tumbling press the jump button yeah now so press it again and quickly press one of the directions and i'll jump that way so she can jump in four directions like uh whenever she wants to okay so she's very athletic she's more athletic than indiana jones she's like got that uh, got that gymnastics going on she can also do other stuff she can uh let's roll she can roll uh, she can, uh, do running and jumping, stuff like that, so. She's like Link, but better at jumping. Oh, yeah, she, she's also, unlike, uh, Link, she also has a different kind of weapon. We'll get to that. You probably know what it is, though. Ah, uh, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage, and the delivery people haven't been yet. So, occasionally, if you go to certain areas, the camera will just, uh, say, Hey, asshole, this is what you should be looking at right now. It'll it'll pop up occasionally. That it's a good idea to like pay attention to that. She's got like, so she's rich. Uh, you want to hear the backstory while I while I go through this? Uh, is it not something that will be revealed over time or? Uh, it's in the it's in the manual. So, so okay, sure. And while still pressing forward, press action, and I'll vault up onto it. Okay, so she can just climb automatically. There's an action button. She just climbs. So, uh, she was like groomed to be like a uh, a like like kind of uh just proper like uh lady and then she got into a car like a, a like a plane accident and uh and she liked uh, and she liked the thrill of ex of being in the wild so much that she decided to become an explorer and her parents cut her off and she's like that's fine i'll make my money through writing and she did <laughs> okay daring do over here yeah and i guess i guess she took the 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 house from her parents or something her manor so and she has enough time to be a, a like a world class treasure hunter and also a famous author. She does it for sport, so I guess I guess the auth I don't know what's the main source of her money. All right. This used to be the ballroom, but I've converted it into my own personal gym. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercise. I'm sure you're dying to know how the platforming works. Let's. I don't actually run everywhere. With the walk button down. Oh shit! I won't Sorry. Fall off, even if you try to make me. Go on. Oh, so, Minecraft. If so you want to look yeah. Around, Press and hold the look button, then press in the direction you want to look. This game has kind of shit draw distance. They fixed that in the remake, but I I like the original graphics, so I'm. Right. You said the 
you said the PS1 version of this has better FMVs than the DOS version? Yeah, uh, that's what I'm running right now. The DOS version is basically what you saw, except they have like a, except it's, uh, it, it has a shitty filter over it. <laughs> I was watching, I'm like, what the fuck? This, this is downright unwatched. It's like almost dream logic. Or dream. Alright. If a jump is too far for okay. me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. So walk to the edge with the We do a stream of the LSD dream emulator one of these days. Alright. Basic uh, mechanics is you jump, you, is that the main thing is that you have to gauge distances, you jump, and you uh if I do a running jump, I can make a jump like that, no problem. Yes. Walk to the edge with the yeah. white line until I stop. Then let go it looks like she doesn't have a lot of air control, like Castlevania. Uh, I'll show it off in a second. But uh, so if I actually jump until the last minute, so if I she talks a lot. Yeah. Well, this is it's the only time she really talks a lot. But uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm trying. To, I'm trying to show it off. Uh, she can jump like this. You can see how she kind of turns, but yeah, her air control is not great. Uh, there's something called banana jumping. Oh yeah, if she you got... you can do a oh hey look a treasure chest. Yo, hell, she got loud ass feet. Yeah, just wait till she puts shoes on. It'll it'll sound it'll sound way different. Uh, heavy heavy footed. So you can do running jumps to get to where right, you need to. This or is you... a really big one. To do a running jump exactly as before, except and while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. Nice. So yeah, uh, it's grid based. So basically, she can do two, like uh, she can jump two grids no problem without a running jump, and she can just make uh, three three blocks away. So Try and to vault up here. You can also do this. Can't climb up because the gap is too small. She can't crawl. Right. Oh, got... you can fit in there. <laughs> Not till three, baby. <laughs> Not till Tomb Raider three. All right. So you, she can shimmy as well, and then uh, yeah, let's get up there. That's a secret move, by the way. That's uh. In... Now that's just showing off. Yep. And I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button. And I'll grab the ledge on the way down. No, I don't feel like I'm doing that. Okay. So there's actually a good reason why you'd want to do that because there's falling damage in this game. You can, you can, it, it. Let's it's, go for a how swim. strict is it? Um. Oh, okay. I'll show it off. Uh, so let's go back up here. And let's do a backflip. It off. That's strict. So at the top left, you saw there there's a health bar. It's kind of small because I'm running it off on like a on like really wide frame. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you, you got to be very careful. Okay. Move me around underwater. This game is. Can she drown in her own pool? Yes, she can. You can die here. This game is. So uh, all right. Secret move number two. A deep ass pool. Yeah. No, uh, no, uh, like. Oh, air. Thank you, Laura. Just use forward and left and right yeah. to maneuver around on the surface. And yeah, there is limited uh, jump breath. To dive down yeah, for swimming around in sweats. To the edge and press action to climb out. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Right. She probably has to. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. Hey, we, let's go. We'll see the. Uh... Oh no, we're not doing that. Didn't really think this through. <laughs> Her, her personality here is kind of like girl next door, like cheeky. It changes. She becomes way more like ruthless in the next games. It's fucking hilarious. From the way you described her backstory, she sounds like she already kind of has everything. Yeah, she does this for sport. You, you said Kim Possible. I'm like thinking, holy shit, that's actually... I was thinking about that the other day. All right, new FMV. It's going to be loud. All right, so this is Peru. These next few levels are going to be the, what they call the Peru section. Up loud. Is way louder than the game. Yeah. Fine. See, we get a we get a partner. He's important to the story too. He's uh, he's uh, very he's very cool. Some one liners and shit.
this is weird. How did you, how did nobody find this before? He wasn't important. All right. Welcome. Yeah, to we're not going to be say able to say fucking anything during those cutscenes. <laughs> was I just drowned out the entire time? It, yeah, it was terribly <laughs> loud. I figured. All right, welcome to uh, caves. That's I'm not lying. That's uh, that's actually what the what the level is called. It's just called caves. All right, I'm gonna save. This game this game has no auto save. So uh, yeah, uh, remind me to save every once in a while, especially when this shit looks sketchy. Uh, there's no, things I like about this game, there's no, like, checkpoint, there's no, but this game doesn't really tell you what to do, you just gotta go, and, uh, also, this game terrified me as a kid, like, you hear the, the background sounds? It's got that kind of isolated feel that Metroid has, so yeah. far. Yeah, it's, I, oh. Dark traps, uh, common. I've heard horror stories about, like, the drowning animations in these games. Oh, if, if I, uh. If I have a chance to show off some of the some of the more fucked up deaths, I'll totally take it. We were just talking about the Jungle Book earlier. Oh yeah, Jungle Jungle Book ninety four movie. <laughs> I think it was apparently produced right. by Disney. Yep, the, you wouldn't know watching it. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this game: is that is that uh, in this universe, especially the uh, the original trilogy, <laughs> and, and like parts of like uh, of like the other games that Core did. Uh, secret one, by the way. There's secrets in this game. Yeah. Uh. I could tell that, by the Austin Power Stinger. Is that, uh, this game... There's a whole lot of tombs, and the, and the wildlife is just, is just always hostile. There's one instance of, like, wildlife not being hostile. It's in one section of, like, one game. And, uh, and everything else is just out for your blood. And and it just makes me think that this universe is just like our universe, except like the nature is just is just worse. Right. Indiana Jones just kind of spilled over into everything in the '90s, didn't it? Oh yeah, there was a lot of this like adv jungle adventure thing going on. All right. Hey Arnold was mid '90s with his stupid jungle explorer parents. <laughs> Those were bad. This was '96. Yeah. Those were bats. Bats are uh, not a threat. Um, the Jack, biggest Jackie Chan Jackie was an Chan. archaeologist. Yeah, because we ran out of shit to explore, and uh, and it just oh shit. Uh, Sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's fine. Uh, something you can't do because uh, they didn't. They don't teach you how to use guns in the in the in the actual like tutorial section. But look at look at this. Look what look look what happens when I try to like grab the ledge wall. Yeah, you can't like uh you can't do shit like while you're holding guns, so Is there like uh is there a run and gun mechanic? Uh you auto lock when you uh, when you run, so you can Are we Drake and the 99 Dragons? I need to know this. It, we're better than Drake and the 99 <laughs> Dragons cuz we can actually hit shit. Like um I'm going to say this right now like you mentioned there being puzzle mechanics. There will be later, um, but this. I'm sorry. Can I give me a second? This takes me back. This used to. This game used to freak me out as a kid, because, yeah. like the polygon graphics, there's something very like. Like scary about it, and the I, it, I can see it being kind of uncanny valley for the era. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This it's weird seeing a game try to be realistic on the PS1. Yeah. That it, it kind of works though. Like like I will say this the graphics they're not they don't they haven't aged too badly. 
I think the cutscenes age pretty badly. The oh, game totally. Itself fine. Totally, and that's why that's why I didn't like go for the remat because it's like, what would be the point? All right. Uh, they should do live action FMV cutscenes, <laughs> and then we, this is the game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be better or worse. I'm glad they didn't do that. Okay. In uh, toggle switches. Wasn't there was a, a Tomb Raider movie? Wasn't there? Uh, three of them. Uh, two. Uh, Angelina Jolie. For two of them, and then one was in the new was based off the new continuity stuff. All right. I'm not gonna be able to get through here. This game's incredibly glitchy. I don't plan on using glitches though. Yeah. Uh. All right. So this this uh one is just this level as you probably it's just called caves. Just caves. We're just going through some caves. I don't actually how, remember. How long do you estimate this game is like hours wise? Um, probably like like ten or t like ten to fifteen. If I if I want to like go out of my way to get all the secrets, I probably won't. Come on. So the auto targeting, Laura will like see like a target and be like, I want to take that that one out, but uh, you can hold down the the attack button, which is also the action button. And, uh, if, if she doesn't, like, have a good line of sight, she'll keep, like, lock, but she won't, like, shoot it because she can't, like, see him. It's really nice that her weapons auto-reload and never run out of ammo. She's, that's her nin ability. It's just, it's just, like, her, she's got nin guns. Bullets. Yeah, but the... She gets later guns, too, and those have, like, ammo, but, again, she doesn't need to reload. <laughs> uh, those guns can be very good too because they're basic pistols they they deal damage but like fucking creatures in this game just oh look so this is just her basic weapon can't run out yeah yeah um there are like no weapons love there's like a no weapons level and like once a game and i and i remember when i was getting really pissed off at at one level because i'm like well, where are my guns I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Uh, all right. So, I've started replaying a bunch of uh, old games recently because I discovered uh, retro achievements. Oh yeah, yeah. You know about that? Retro Arc, right? Or... Uh, no, it's not related to Retro Arc, but it's a uh, website that assigns achievements to a bunch of older games. Oh, that's cool. It works natively with the PS2 emulator, which is how I figured found out about it. Sorry, there's a bear down here. I need to take I need to take out Brother Bear. Oh you'll no. leave Coda an orphan. <laughs> now you must raise him. No. No, I have to I have to get the fucking uh the sky on of uh, uh, the the ski on uh for uh, for Natla so I can so I can Oh what <laughs> The bat has come to avenge I, the bear. I, le I legit forgot about that bat. Okay. Oh, what? Another you, bat! <laughs> you feel as though maybe Bayonetta was a little bit inspired by Laura Croft's, like, in-your-face British personality. Look, who wasn't inspired by Laura Croft back at, like... Laura Croft is, a, is like, a fucking icon. She... This game, I, I feel like, influenced a lot of things. It influenced, like, a, a movie, actually. Like, the before Tomb Raider. Um, have you ever heard of the uh, movie Gary? G -E -R -R no. G-E-R-R-Y. Okay, so this guy... Uh, who I've heard made... of his mod. Okay, so Gary was a movie. Uh, it was part of a trilogy. Uh, but, the, but Gary is the only one I heard of. It's basically made when the director was, like, playing Tomb Raider. And he's just, like, in these, like, moments of just walking quiet. And he made a movie where just two characters were walking. Hour. Okay, and that's the whole movie. Uh, well, at the very end, one of them kills the other one because <laughs> because they figured uh, it's hopeless. I think I'm going the right direction. There's no map in this game, so so um, you're gonna have to be my my uh, navigate my navigator. Like fuck, like fuck, I am. What am I gonna do? <laughs> you remember where we go? <laughs> remember when we played Spyro and I was like, this game has a map? Well, I never needed that. I kind of know where, where we're going, um, so. Do you think Crash Bandicoot was inspired by Indiana Jones? 
Just so far as the novelty of having like a jungle setting. I don't fucking so. Yeah. I take that back. Maybe. Jungles. It was jungles the nineties. Cool. Yeah. The idea of like jungle temples was was novel then. Uh, so you hear uh, that sometimes there's like music in like the game. Here, this is gonna be another track now. It means that wolves that was rather are... abrupt, yeah. So in the in the original PC release of this game, uh, the non Steam one, oh, he, he nipped me. Did I get him? No, he's still alive. Okay, he's gone. Or uh, Croft shoots dogs. He was coming right for me, bro. <laughs> Uh, so in the original game, there was just no music. It was, it was just, it was either silence or ambience. I was like, wait, there's music in this game? When uh, somebody was, like, showing me, when I was seeing, like, PlayStation footage, like, why didn't we get that? Let me, uh, oh, is the music done? The music's done. Ah, shit. Next time a, mu a music, a, like, busy music track like that plays, I want to check the audio again, because that sounded kind of loud. Okay. All right, so that was timed. I, I fucked it up the first time I tried it, so. Imagine trying to do timed mechanics with controls like this for you. You probably would. Oh, shit, I forgot arrows. So uh, there are retro achievements for Croc, and it has time trials on the levels. Of course it does. Uh... It oh, what the? the... I... <laughs> the dog took me the by wolf? surprise. Yeah. It works with the PS2 emulator, and it works with uh, RetroArch and BizHawk. Okay. So I've, I've been using BizHawk for other games. Yeah. All right. So I looked it up out of curiosity. It has Tomb Raider achievements. Oh yeah, you want to show me what what some of the what some of the achievements are? Or tell uh, me. Rather. There's the ones for finish finish the levels. Okay. Finish all 15 levels. Get both items in City of Villa Cam Villa Cabamba. Oh, that's a spoiler then. Uh, let's. Uh... Find not... three lead bars. Oh, so it's shit. mostly finding treasure, looks like. Okay, so uh, another mechanic. Uh, occasionally there will be uh, floors that will uh, break. Yeah. Yeah, so. Nathan Drake did that. That yeah. was one of his moves for some reason. Yeah, this is iconic. This for the Tomb Raider in any form, the Lara Croft wasn't like a uh, character. Yeah, in PS All-Stars. I don't know who owned her at that point. Uh, oh, I think it was Eidos. Ah, oh, shit, why didn't I jump? Okay. About to go back up. There's a set called Extreme Raider. Let's Extreme. see, caves. 14 kills, 7 pickups, and 3 secrets. No save, no meds, only pistols. Okay, I'm, I am I mean, that sounds easy enough. I'm already, like, like part of the way there. I think I missed the third secret, though. Discover the three secrets in yeah, caves. Yeah, I did. It's, I missed... it's all achievement type stuff. Yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not going to get all the secrets. I'm, I might see something that looks suspicious, or I might remember. I'm, I'm not, like, again, this game, it's easy-ish now. There you are. Okay, I'm going to, let me check the levels real quick. Okay. I want to see how loud this music is compared to us. It sounds way low, lower. Well, how's the sound? Sorry. Wow, Restream is way behind. Figured. Okay, and... No, it's fine. If anything, I'm a little loud, but I can just, I can get further from the mic. Hey, you want to see a neat trick? Sure. Okay, give me a second. I need to save this, because I might fuck it up. You want to see me do a trick? It keeps track of how many saves you you have. That's that's fun. Alright. Nice trick, asshole! <laughs> you wanted... Uh, yeah, so if you... There's a dive, and if you... I would have been able to survive that jump, nor like, normally, but... Just... For so some... that was what you were intending to do. Yes, it was. Um, yeah, apparently, if you if you would take damage off of a fall, if you do that, just if you do it just like on level ground or like somewhat slightly lower, you can just do a cool roll, which looks cool. But 
But if you do it at full damage, right, you just fucking die. Yeah, because you break As you would in real life. Oh, yeah. Most realistic game on the PlayStation. All right, so that was uh, that was Caves. 13, about 13 minutes. Uh, the early levels. Peru is only... It, this game has, like, like, not a whole lot of levels, but it also has, like... The levels can get pretty lengthy, so... All right, so welcome to this... What you... How'd you pronounce it? The... Hold on. La Bamba. The Caves of La Bamba. The Caves of... I, I had trouble with this uh, with this as as a kid, too. City of v Vilcabamba. <laughs> City of... La, 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 da, da, da. What is it with the games I choose with having, like, names that are nigh unpronounceable? Fucking Shamalama... Oh, fuck. Okay. Come on. What was that in Lagoon? The sh uh, Shalama guy, whatever. Oh, no, that was that was in uh, that was in uh, Link to the Past. Oh, what you were there's a oh I forgot there's a fourth one. Some levels they just ambush you with animals immediately. Imagine you're you're like the first time you're playing this game, and then suddenly four wolves jump out and they tear you to shreds. Okay. If this were Gex, the wolves would be going awooga before they jump her. Yeah. Uh, Gex is getting a re-release. Re it's coming to Switch. Of course it is. Kids would like Gex. Kids, kids Zoomers now and they would Kids aren't going to know what the fuck anything, anything's coming out of his mouth is. Yeah. It's all 80s references. How many bats are there in this... This It's weird how this cave has like a fucking ecosystem. Like, is it that weird? I don't know. There was a sealed door. <laughs> okay, All right. I, I, okay, that raises questions about the wolves, but surely bats can get out somewhere. Well, are the wolves vegetarian, or are they have they been like in dormant until like they smelled fresh meat and they're like, yeah, let's fucking eat everything. They've been eating each other for a thousand years. Can't, they've been can't, they're can't, they're inbred cannibals. It's just tribes of inbred cannibal wolves, which is which totally sounds like a hunter hunter thing. This is the yeah. first uh, like level, which is kind of like open, and this is open. On. Well, I mean, it's not linear. Okay, yeah, maze like. Tomb Raider: The Last Revelation was kind of like an op was kind of like their attempt at doing open world Tomb Raider. I never played it. Oh fucking shit! Around the corner. Hey, use Z targeting to look around corners. I should have done that, but I think it doesn't really work. The look function yeah. doesn't. I think I Laura, saw... Laura about to get, like, eat shit to a moblin. Yeah, I, I knew there was a fucking health pack here. Okay. Uh, I take it by the fact that they're called levels in this game that there's not really a lot of backtracking. No, there is none. Like, you, you go through a level, that's that's it. You don't have to go back to a previous level. That's all, that's all Last Revelation, and uh, that's why I've been kind of reluctant to play it. Is that what? What is Last Revelation? It's PS2 the fourth one. It's a PlayStation One one. Oh, what the fuck? There's human tribes. Tribe? Tribe. There might have been. It's all. It's probably just all wolves now. All right. So. Oh my God! The wolves learned how to skin their prey. <laughs> oh no! A wall of skulls. All right. So we already had the Indiana Jones, like the arrow traps from Temple of Dune. Yes. Are we going to have a, a, a floor that breaks into a spike pit? Would you be surprised if I said yes? No. Okay, cool. So there's... We have a boulder we got to run from? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're asking me questions you probably already know the answer to. Like... Yeah. I didn't know, but I can guess. We have block moving puzzles. So, I, this is the least, this is my least favorite part of Tomb Raider is just, she takes forever to move blocks. Uh, like you could do better. No, I can't, but I would, I would fucking blow that shit up. What are you talking? I don't know why it wants it there. Probably no reason. That. That. 
Where are you, bat? I fucking hear you, bat. <laughs> Spelunky. Another obvious. Well, I guess Spelunky was more inspired by Spelunker, which was in turn inspired by like Indiana Jones. Yeah. But, but, okay, one of the keys. So there's two keys we need to grab to uh, move on to the next level. This is one of them. Um, Emperor's new groove looking ass. <laughs> What's it called? These uh, they don't have lore. Gold Idol. Okay. All right. So. Like a bass tech lion. We also have a compass. No reason. It doesn't fucking help with anything. <laughs> Look, uh, we got clay pottery and stuff. Well, we don't have the dungeon map, so the compass doesn't really help yet. <laughs> we Link would be like, wait, you have a dungeon map? You have a compass that, like, works for any dungeon? Like, uh, no, it works for tombs. They just have, like, fucking uh, Link and uh, Laura arguing about dungeon versus tomb. Let me see. That's probably a fan death battle. I think Link would win, but... Link would... Well, yeah. Well, okay, yeah. Um, well, Laura Croft does have guns, so who knows? Can, can Hylian shield block guns? Do I have to move Twilight, them? Sparkle, and Link versus Laura Croft and Darth Vader in a Mugen match. That's Mugen. That, anything goes there. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, good. I, for, I Good thing I doubled back. I would have forgotten about this key. I got a uh, Laura Croft and Link, like, fusion. What? Okay, what does that look like? What does that look like? Right, I'll, I'll post it in the chat. You probably can't see it. No, I'm not, I, I don't want to. I don't want to alt tab because DOS box. Look on your phone, things. I guess, if you want to. Yeah. Um. Wait, Laura Croft is in Brawlhalla. Is she? Wait, that's the game that she was able to get into. According to this Polygon article, she'll stay in the game after the latest crossover event ends. Yeah, it sounds like she's in Brawlhalla. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Wait, which version? Uh, old it or looks new? Not like original. I mean, it's styled like Brawlhalla, but yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. There's a hot take. I actually prefer uh, like uh, original Laura Croft's personality. Oh fuck. I actually prefer. They kind of Laura... tried to like humanize her in the more recent ones, right? Well, I mean, she was plenty human enough. She was just like a like a treasure hunter and just like pretty good at it. And then, uh, and then like. I guess it was like they were trying I, to be I like the state. origins of Laura Croft. Wait, how am I supposed to get out? Oh god. Damn. You're not. This is this is my tomb. Okay, I think I know what I need to do now. I need to put the block on the other side. I wasn't supposed to pull. I was supposed to push. God damn it. This level was supposed to be one of the quicker ones, too. I thought you could, like, you could just... They're used to... I, I mean it more in the way of, like, trying to make her less of a, of a hardened badass-type character, kind of like other M tried to do with Metroid. Yeah. But backfired because people like Samus being a hardened badass. I like, I like, yeah, I like people being, like, a hardened badass, and it's not like she's, like, unrelatable. Like, I can relate struggling. And also, like... It's not, she's not invul like invulnerable. She dies in like a variety of like horrifying ways. Like they they let her in all three of the games just just like get got in a variety of ways. It's just it's wild. I will say my first impressions of her are that she's a little too implausibly perfect, but I mean, you could make that complaint about like Batman. So you can make that complaint it's about not a killer. You can make that complaint about a lot of like '90s games. It's a uh, what I call the original sin of the of the times. It's kind of a power trip thing. Yeah, power power fantasy, like uh, like Doom guy. He's too perfect in uh, in Doom, but and I wouldn't say too perfect because you're playing as this character, and so as a result. All right, here we go. Okay. It's definitely less grinding now that we're not in her like. Her, her gorgeous mansion anymore. <laughs> the, oh, that triggered the other bat shit. There we go. This is how the 1% spend their free time. This is back before the 1% like was revealed to be like utter pieces of shit though. Like in the 90s, that was something you would you would, can reasonably aspire to and... Huh. What is this? <laughs> Furniture. Is, this a pot? is that supposed to be a pot? Is that someone's dinner in JPEG form? It's, all, it's probably dust now, the dinner. 
It's all JPEGs. Yeah. Oh, hey, cool. It's all 2D sprites, rather. Uh, just remember to save, so I'm going to save really quick. It's down. Vilkabamba! Uh... So this is level two. This is level two. Um, we're... Once we complete this, we'd be halfway through the Peru section. And I want to see if I can... How many actual tombs are in this game? Oh, we go to, uh... We go to all... These are all going to be tombs. Uh, Peru's got a tomb. And then the other... The other three, uh... Like, places also have tombs. And I think each, uh, section... I think this one is four. The next section has five. Section after that, I think, has five. And then the final section has four. I might be misremembering, though. Okay. Four wolves! Was that wolf just grazing? Where were you That eating? one wasn't even attacking you. You he monster! Would've. He would've! Animals are hot. All animals are hostile in Tomb Raider. Okay. Or Lara Croft, but with the personality of, like, some early asshole British explorer. <laughs> like manifest destiny shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's British, so she's pretty much halfway there. Uh, okay, so that was the room I went in. That goes up Sweet, there. Uh, five yeah. FPS water. Water physics actually get better. Um, okay. Well, I'm here, so let's uh, open this up. I just like the idea of just exploring like, like random tombs and just like this is this is would would it be too much of a stretch to call this the original walking simulator? More wolves! Yeah, because it's not really that. Yeah, you're not really. Oh, there's a third one. Walking Simulator more describes games where you're just kind of... It's it's not without a goal, but the goal is mostly just like walking back and forth between places and characters. I don't want to use any uh, med kits if I want to. So something to note about this game is that is that it is merciful and that if you complete a level, you get a free health refill. You start the next level. Uh, okay. Is this all like once? No, because you said Peru, so we're like globe trotting in this game. Yes, we go to uh, we go to different. Uh, this she is like speaking of Indiana Jones. You just you just go to like different locations. I'm not, I don't want to spoil what what the other two are. I, 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 then again, I don't know if you care. So we took that arrow like a fucking champ. She's she's surprisingly durable yet surprisingly fragile. If that makes any sense, I guess. All right, I gotta go to the water next. All right. You hear we're getting a Borderlands movie? Yeah, we got the Twisted Metal movie, a series, and that didn't work out well. I heard. Despite the fact that professional wrestler Samoa Joe was, like, getting involved. Was he Calypso? I forget. No, he, I think was, he was Sweet Tooth. No, he was Sweet Tooth, yeah. I'm surprised I said Samoa Joe, and you're like, oh, I know who that is! Well, I saw him in the in the, in the credits for the, the thing, too. All right, not here. It might be here. I'm running yeah, out of talked about though. Samoa Joe before. The guy yeah. who's not Samoan at all. I think he is Samoan. He just is like, I'm lost. I'm lost underwater. Rest, Rest in peace. No, I'm good. All right, where am I? Some oh. friendly welcoming snakes in this room. Yeah, don't worry. I don't think they're gonna come alive. Uh, I know there's some degree of magic in this series. How how much does it get? Uh, Is this low fantasy? Um, besides the the fact that all the animals are in a, a covenant to kill everybody on Earth. I know about the turns to gold thing. I know I know the golden touch is a thing. Oh, uh, that game. was spoiled for you? Damn it. You told me about it. Oh, did I? <laughs> Shit. I I I didn't I didn't ever think we'd be, you'd you'd want me to you'd be able, you'd, anyway. That's all I know about like you know, <gasps> Okay, there's an air pocket. Stuff. No, there's not. Shit. It's a trap. Wow, that's okay. mean. Okay. Okay, I see the switch now. I'm just going to go back for air one more time and I'm going to yeah, this is... The water levels are, like, very... The water sections are very claustrophobic. I... I really just get nervous Remember every time I... Remember the sewer run in Ratchet and Clank? Yeah. 
Okay. All right, and I'm kind of curious as to like the higher frame rate is like causing the air to drop quicker. I hope that's not the case because that might make some le levels later literally unplayable without like yeah. uh, engine tweaking. All right, but I see. Do you I know see... what the uh, what frame rate the game ran on? Ran uh, at originally? Probably thirty. It's fine. Uh, the sixty-four Zelda games were twenty. I don't know. I wonder what like Crash Bandicoot was. Okay, so this is secret, but you know what? It's a secret with O2, and probably a shortcut. Oh, yeah, totally a shortcut. All right. This helps. This will help. I'm curious, cause all right. The Crash games were 30 FPS. So probably 30 if this was a. All right. I think we're on the right track. I just need to uh, to. That corner of the room has... Alright, there it is. There's the other switch. Tomb Raider's also uh, 30 FPS. Or okay. 25 FPS in, in Europe. That makes sense. Okay! Alright, so that, that opens that door over there. I'm gonna get some air, and we're gonna we're just gonna swim straight there. <laughs> I don't know why this is, this is like... I don't. I, I. I'm gonna level with you. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know why. That, like solving this stuff just fills me with such joy. All right. So, yeah, we're going back to the to the ominous snake room. The friendly snake room. Friendly. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Core Design. They uh they were making they made the first seven Tomb Raider games up to Angel of Darkness, and by Angel of Darkness, I think they were just burnt out, because they were like, we don't want to make Tomb Raider games anymore! Did they make any other series that they're known for? I have no idea. You, sh you can look that up if you want to. Cause... Core design. Okay, so this opens up here. Another secret?! Okay, we got mag ammo, at least. At least you're not being attacked by killer fish. <laughs> not yet. Uh, well, st okay. See, dynamite ducks. Rick Dangerous. Torvac the Warrior. I have no they idea. They were making a lot of Amiga, Amiga games. And then, and then they went here. <laughs> They made the Monty Python's Flying Circus game. Okay, so this is this is uh, connected to Monty Python's Flying Circus. Chuck Rock series. I Chuck Rocks. So I got two secrets here by complete accident, looking for the actual uh, way to finish the the level, which means I'm probably missing something very obvious, or I'm just on the right the raw the complete wrong track with this water. Uh. Hmm. There's a game called Cyberpunks. Not Cyberpunk. Cyberpunks. No. The Goths and punks. player controls three characters simultaneously. Is is this knockoff dwarves? Sounds. Oh, uh, Lost Vikings. Yeah. It sounds like Lost that Vikings. Sounds, that sounds like knock knockoff Lost Vikings. Up. Oh. Don't hit me. Oh shit. Through and through. Their last game was free running for PlayStation Portable. And then they went defunct. Yeah, it was 2007. That's a shame. They should have continued making more Tomb Raider games. <laughs> well, I hope I have everything I need. I I don't know if I do. Let's Dude, just... The minimum goal is just to get to the end of each level. Yeah, right? I'm just... Yeah, you don't but... need to find anything? Oh, well, you need to find certain items that are, like, required. Okay. Now we go up. Required how? Required to solve puzzles? Uh, yes. Fuck. I think I have... I got everything I need, though. I think the water section was just, uh, to get secrets. The music in this game does feel like it wants to be a movie soundtrack. I'm not surprised. It This is a very, uh, uh cinematic game. 
right. How how weird would would uh, Tomb Raider get if it was directed by Kojima? Uh, it'd just be Metal Gear Solid, except with the ancient. Oh fuck! Except with ancient like uh, like artifacts as opposed to like military like equipment. I'd be down for that actually. He's right. doing Death Stranding too now, right? Yes, he is. The so, current project. Yeah, that's just, that's uh, Kojima Productions' current project. I wonder how it's going to be different. All right, and yet another. All right, I think we got everything we need now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're almost. We're. I'm gonna tell you now. We're at the final stretch of this. Uh, of this level. I. I remember how this goes now. And. Uh... Hello, by cure. May Hello. I know where you got this game? It is available for purchase on Steam. Yeah, get it before they announce a remaster and they and they wipe it from uh, from Steam, like they did for the Grand Theft Auto original trilogy. Oh, did they do that? Yeah, uh, that was that. Uh... Here we go. That was uh, part of uh, of like, uh, but what happened? What happened? Episode where they were like. Uh, Sending modders cease and desist, saying, "Hey, can't can't go down here," uh, and and also uh, just delisting the games because it's like, "Hey, our our game's gonna come soon," and that was like, "That's always a scumbag move." I never like it when when uh, companies do that shit. Uh, Tomb Raider is currently owned by Embracer Group, formerly Nordic Games. Oh, THQ Nordic. Oh, they, it's owned by THQ Nordic? Or, sorry, they're no longer that. Who I only know is the people who made the Spongebob games. Oh. Lots of subsidiaries. Yeah. Okay. I don't re really remember how this uh, jumping puzzle works. Okay, I remember now. They own Crystal Dynamics. Yeah, Crystal Dynamics are the developers. I played their uh, their uh, their their trilogy before the uh, they rebooted the entire series. It was all right. Um, they they ended up making a re a their version their remake of uh, of Tomb Raider one one called Tomb Raider Anniversary. I didn't hate it. They own Gearbox. They own Gearbox. So we could have. I would two... think Valve would have bought Gearbox. No. Oh yeah, I get, I get it. <laughs> well, no, because Gearbox are the ones who made several like Half Life games. Oh, several. Oh yeah, their uh, their expansions and shit. Yeah, I remember that they did uh, Opposing Force. Yeah. Uh... Right. Okay, this. If I remember correctly, this this last part is going to be okay. So I have a funny memory about this game because they released a demo version of this game. Uh, yeah, and I got was, a PS One demo disc, or no, PlayStation, just just PC. They just it, it was just released, and uh, <clears throat> it was a city of Vilbamba, and uh, they added a bear just randomly to like increase the challenge on like on like the, one of those climbing sections instead of like those bats. Okay, I'm gonna be saving so much. My I'm gonna go in the triple digits. Hey, yeah, this is a hallway. This looks safe. Nope. Well, that was less graphic than it could have been. It, yeah. If this was a... If this was a... If this was like a Resident Evil game. Yeah. This was even like Tomb Raider Modern. The M-rated ones. Okay. What? So there have been three games now just titled Tomb Raider. Uh Tomb Raider no, because there was original Tomb Raider and there then uh then their version of their trilogy was Tomb Raider Remake. No not Tomb Raider Remake. It was Tomb Raider Legends, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Oh, there's the bear I... Just hanging out, having a bath. That's uh that's the other Good thing bears can't swim. 
animals are incredibly hydrophobic in this game. Uh, well, okay, I mentioned that because when I was setting it up on Twitch, there were three entries for Tomb Raider, and no matter which one it's I selected, it would go to the the most recent one, no which kidding. is M-rated. Okay, what were the other two then? Okay, so this is the main room. I'm trying to remember exactly what to do here. Besides kill that that damn bear! Fuck! Bear! No! You've entered the bear room! <laughs> I'm in the bear zone! <laughs> I, I didn't walk. I should have walked. Walking will prevent me from just walking off of ledges. Okay. Attempt two. And I think... Come at me, bear! Oh, it's hiding! Go? It's hiding! Where's that bear? <laughs> the bear has stealth capabilities! Oh! Found it! It's a sweet camera. Got him. going on right now? Got him, I, I, he's dead. Okay. Uh, we were talking about fighting game crossovers earlier. Yeah. I found out about the uh, the guest characters in Tekken 7 recently. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Do you know, do you know, have you, are you familiar with them? Uh, Baki's one of them, I know. I know Baki. No, Baki Hanma is not one. Oh, is he not? I thought he was in Tekken... Oh, that's Tekken 8. Tekken 7 okay. had okay. Akuma. Well, that that's neat if Baki's in, in 8. Uh, I thought I told you that. I'm sorry. No, I, I, I wasn't aware. Uh, 7 had Akuma, and then it had yep. Geese Howard. Yep. I know those two. Which, th those are big fighting game villains. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Then it had Noctis from Final Fantasy. I yeah, I know that one. Okay, I need to draw. The her. like <gasps> teenage dude with a sword. Yeah, yeah, he's a uh, he's the protagonist of a uh, Final Fantasy. Fifteen. Yeah, road Final Fantasy Road Trip. And uh, the fourth and final DLC character in Tekken Seven was some dude from the Walking Dead TV show. Oh. It was just a normal don't... fucking dude with a bat. <laughs> I the Walking Dead has infested. You know what? You know what had Walking Dead like crossover merchandise? What? Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's not fantasy at all. They had like custom cards and shit. <laughs> there was a there was a bridge builder Walking Dead edition. Why? Well, now is... here's what I have to check: is is the Walking Dead in Brawlhalla? The Walking Dead is in Brawlhalla. God damn it! Why? It has three characters. Uh... <laughs> well, Walk... skins. Walking... Sorry, five skins, and one of them is Negan, the Bat Dude, who is also in Tekken. Of course he is. Sorry, I'm trying to remember where to go. I'm. Fuck it. Fucking everyone and everything is in Brawlhalla. It's it's the Fortnite equivalent of Smash. Fortnite, yeah, yeah we're Fortnite, we're about to get down. Get down. Ten kills. Goku them. was in Fortnite. So we we watched Dragon Ball Super, the superhero movie. Okay, this uh, is the one. So before we watched that, there was a Fortnite event that had Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan in Fortnite. Oh yeah. And Gohan had a beast axe. A beast axe? Doesn't use an axe in the movie. It has nothing to do with axes. They just, they gave him an axe in Fortnite. Well, he didn't get to use a sword. It's only fair. All right, we're done beast with that level. Beast axe, Gohan. Okay. Right, uh, so this is one of my favorite levels, this next up, because it gets... Level it three? Yeah, level three. This is, uh... You want to see what it's called? This might give you a clue as to what this level has. Okay, what is it called? Lost Valley. Are there dinosaurs? We'll find out. Anytime something is lost, it usually means there's dinosaurs. I mean, this whole thing is lost. It's a lost city. Like, lost treasure. Look, lost different... bears. Hey, look, different water physics. There's not a whole lot of bears, but there's, like, a lot of wolves. I wonder... Hold on. Oh, I'm, I can't see him here. Idle animations. So this whole game is ultimately tile-based. Yes, uh, that's the engine they used. And they get they get kind of creative with it later. But yeah, 
it does look realistic for its limitations. Oh yeah, this this that's why this game scared me a whole lot. Okay, so uh Oh look, there's some cool water physics over there that that So um we're going to so I know exactly what we need. We need three gears to uh to open to close a gate. And I think one of them might be up here. So we just need to do the, get the other two from the next section of this level, which is Fortunately, not, like, just another cave. Those water tiles down there don't look great. No. They, they remind me of, like, a DOS shareware game. <laughs> oh, you mean Tomb Raider? <laughs> oh, you mean just bad shareware. What is the oldest iteration of this game? Like, what was it... Hold on. Was it distributed on... On... It was distributed what, what, on... With floppy drives. I think it was CD because I, I don't know it could be floppy drive the, that's why they that's why they had to sh like fuck up the uh the uh, fmvs okay the first version of tomb raider was on the sega saturn really and then it, then it was for dos and playstation that's it that's it that's crazy to me mac os in 99 pocket pc in 2002 the Nokia N-Gage had a Tomb Raider version. <laughs> you oh, could play it on the taco. Oh, you you remember that? The Nokia oh, N-Gage? Yeah. It's down here. I think I remember something. <laughs> the Wikipedia More wolves! Page. The Wikipedia page has a section dedicated to Nude Raider. Nude Raider? Oh, the, the uh, infamous mod? Yeah. You know, if... If we didn't grow up, I we would be doing that. <laughs> Come on. God. That was that was mean. Just going me down there, not allowing me to get higher up, and then just sending three wolves at me. Oh, hold up. We got like a Mario porn situation. What? They own it? Uh, Ado sent cease and desist letters to the owners of the NudeRaider.com URL that hosted the nude patch. <laughs> uh, sites depicting such and such been sent cease and desist notice and shut down and Ados Interactive was awarded the rights to the nude raider domain name. Oh, they own okay, the domain it's the name. domain name. It's not like a trademark. They probably back when people cared about the sort of thing. I legitimately have no idea why this room exists. You go here, you get, <laughs> this is mean. You go here expecting like some goodies and then you just get ambushed by three wolves and and then there's just nothing here. There's nothing here! Fucking pricks. Alright. Okay, let's climb this wall and uh, and head up to, and head over to uh the lost the titular lost valley. A rumor stated that the game had a cheat code for nude Laura. Management did suggest adding it to the developers, but they refused. Good! Because they that game that ESRB would have would have not no. Does it need to be new? Management suggested adding oh, the shit. nude cheat. He's speaking of dinosaurs. There's Velociraptors. Okay, so you look That'd up be hot coffee all over again. Yeah, no, it would have been the Sorry, hot coffee okay. scandal way before hot coffee. Okay, tell me about the black sky. Uh, so, so I, I actually know a little bit about the black sky. These dinosaurs, they go down easy. I bet this it'll be this easy the entire time. So they originally wanted to put, like, a sky up above, but the engine limitations at the time, they, they couldn't handle it. They fixed this for later entries, but it's just a black sky, which is, like, makes it seem like it's just a really, really big cave as opposed to it being, like, outside in Peru. Yeah. And it's like, if this was supposed to be outside, people wouldn't know that dinosaurs still exist. What yeah. kind of world is this? That's kind of the problem with any of these uh, lost areas yeah, and things. It's, it's I lost. like how Cyborg009 treated it by it turned out that the lost world was actually dinosaur robots. <laughs> no, th these are actual dinosaurs. And you know what? This isn't the last time we'll be... There's dinosaurs in the in this yeah. game. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Remember that episode of Miraculous where they just casually dropped that a scientist had engineered dinosaur chickens? Yeah, that was uh, quite something. <laughs> you can't just say that and then leave it. Yeah, um... Yeah, speaking of dinosaurs... Hello! <laughs> 
Is this our first boss? A Velociraptor? That's not a- uh, that's a T-Rex! We were it killing- It small for a T-Rex, but big for a raptor. It's a young T-Rex. Okay. It's- I guess- I don't know. It's the last of Sounds its Sounds like time. a wrestler name. The- the young T-Rex? Yeah, young T-Rex. Do the thing! Take me! Okay, so it, it can damage you by touching you. This has a... What's I, okay, so... Wow, this guy is dumb. I feel a little bad for him. <laughs> you're not gonna get eaten, you're just gonna fall over like, oh. That's kind of how, how death animations from non-standard stuff works, but... Uh, Motherfucker, eat me! What are you doing?! You fool! There we go! Oh, wow. There's actual blood. I didn't... I, I, I didn't... I don't remember that part. Okay. So, uh... Leads, we can kill it. Yes. Th thank you, Dutch. Wait, no, that wasn't Dutch. That was. <laughs> and still has collision. You, I think. Is there can... a human skeleton here? Yeah, there were several. Apparently, there were people here. At least two people got past the wolves. Three! There was another skeleton on the wall that was separating this part from the entrance. Alright, uh... I'm gonna use one of my medipacks because, uh... Yeah, I know, that's pleasurable. I think she's just eating morphine. Uh, because there's still two raptors here. Like, the same as that one, or smaller, actually, raptor size? Act smaller, actually, raptor size. Maybe his growth was stunted because he didn't have enough to eat. That's way too high. Yeah, I can't, I can't reach there. Probably a secret. Okay, so two of the gears are down here. I wonder if it says anything about uh, the Saturn version of this game as compared to the other versions. I think I heard that it wasn't very good. The Saturn was like less. Oh fuck you! Where did you come from? <laughs> Fucking raptors! <laughs> and it's gone. It just left. Can I get up there? Oh, I can get up there. Uh oh. Ignore me. Woo! You can't get me. And it runs off. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what were you, ta you were talking about the Saturn. Sorry about that. The raptor was like. Up my ass. Yeah, so, uh, Sega had a thing where they were kind of releasing consoles at the very earliest. They were, they were releasing them between everyone else. Yeah. So the Saturn was like between the SNES and N64 era. <laughs> and the Dreamcast was between PS1 and PS2. And that's one of them. Uh, and, uh... Fucking music. So... What were some of the differences in ports? I imagine, I, I think I remember hearing that, like, the port differences were not good. Uh. This just lists different versions of, like, the PS1 game. Oh. Wait, different versions of the PS1 game? Like, like 1.0, 1.1, etc. Okay. That's, like, usually this version and this region didn't work out so well, so we're going to release it again and... This region, okay, and then this leads back to here. All right, everything everything makes sense now. Wait, no, it no, it doesn't. There was an E3 demo containing an early version of the city of Vilcabamba, which that's what you mentioned with the bear. That's probably right? the one I played. Yeah, yeah, I played that version of a uh, city of Vilcabamba. This it leaked. That was the first internet leak because I don't think that was meant to be. Another raptor. Oh god, the two raptors have become one. The 
PS1 version of this game only only let you save at save crystals. Yes, uh, that's a that's a thing that was that's one thing that the that the PC version has over uh, over PlayStation is that uh, you can save anywhere. Yeah, unlike at certain points. Imagine like you have to go at a save crystal and you get a certain really hard section, and you have to just nail that shit over and over again. I mentioned that was a weird thing about Skyward Sword is that they went back to having like specific save locations you had to go to oh yeah that that sounds annoying as shit All right. they were abundant though so uh yeah. ps1 version had loading times yeah makes sense this one doesn't okay all right uh got two gears now i think yes i do machine cog sorry there are less save crystals in the saturn version than in the ps1 version <laughs> so the Saturn version was hardcore mode. Okay, yeah, hardcore. I will say that certain le like later levels in this game, they do get like pretty tough. You gotta really be like on the ball. In uh, the N Gage version, Laura wears her black top and green shorts from Angel of Darkness instead <laughs> of her normal outfit. Ah, you you scumbags! Is this a secret? This seems like a secret. Not a seat. Where am I? Is this an overlook for another? No, it's not. Seriously, where am I? Where? That is so so strange. You still there? Yeah. I'm paranoid now because because of, of the internet issues. Oh hey, okay. I think I know where the other uh, where the third gear is now. It's uh. Right across you know how old this information is? It's on a forum post. <laughs> Remember those forums? It's like Reddit, except decentralized. I'm, I'm reading someone who says they owned and played the Saturn version. Oh, yeah? Saturn does run quicker than the PS1 version, and loading time is shorter. Yeah, I figured as much. Graphics are in lower res, though, on Saturn. I don't think I'm going to survive if I try to jump down here. Saturn had different gun noises. Oh, yeah? I wonder how different. Can't reach the last secret in Tomb of Tihokan on Saturn. Well, you what? just... So there's a thing in the game that you just cannot reach? They and they just left it in? They patched it out. No, Saturn was the first version. Yeah, they patched it... Well, they patched it so it's they fixable. They patched what was intended to be reachable in... Laura can't do the handstand move in the Saturn. I'll, okay, trash version. <laughs> Zero out of ten. You can change the gamma setting in the Saturn version. Okay. But not here? Interesting. I guess I, did, I was checking the, uh, the uh, visual stuff. I didn't see any setting for uh, gamma. So, that tracks... I also can't confirm this. Someone claims that the N-Gage version had, like, an auto-run feature where she would keep running until you stopped her. Which sounds like Lagoon. That sounds... That sounds pointless. Eh. Like, you're, you're running for a lot of it, sure, but, like, I can't see for the more difficult things how that would be, like, any kind of quality of life thing. So how... you How many of... How, which Tomb Raider games have you played? Uh, one, two, and three. Um, I've played a little bit of four. I've played, uh, I haven't played Chronicles. And I, uh, I've played Angel of Darkness. And, so the first uh, four are all PS1. First four can be played on PS1. Uh, I, no, all five, first five are on PS1. To Angel of Darkness was PS, was a PS2 attempt. And then they didn't try for, uh, Lara Croft again until, uh, PS3, 360. What are some, uh, what are some significant changes in... Like one, two, and three, for example. This is where I was. Um, they add new moves to uh, two and three. They add like breakable stuff. Um, they change up the enemies. It look they they add in the her iconic ponytail. They have it have physics. Is it the same basic game flow? Yeah, I think I think how it is is Tomb Raider one contains a mix of uh, linear levels and non-linear levels. Tomb Raider two has more linear levels, and Tomb Raider three is non-linear as shit and is quite honestly my favorite uh tomb raider so tomb raider 3 is kind of like the metroidvania ish 
No. It's still... I'm just saying each level is non-linear. It's more like Spyro? Uh... Or Banjo? Well, it's just that it's it's very wide open and there's multiple ways to get to the end. Okay. It's still linear, but it's like, but it's like not... So like Sonic game design. <laughs> sure, I'm we'll go with that. A comparison. We'll, we'll go, None of them are landing. We'll go with that. We'll go with Sonic game design. Um, Tomb Raider, they also have more weapons because this game, it's good. I would say this is good, like proof of concept as to how a Tomb Raider game should go. Try this. Good, I made it. <sighs> This is annoying because if you if you fall in there, the river has like physics and it'll push you back to the start. Yeah. So I need to do running jumps the entire time. Uh. <coughs> ah! Except there. Bonk. <laughs> Maybe I can get out. No, let me out. Oh, damn it. By the way, um, she doesn't take any damage falling into water from like heights. Soft water is at play here. Yes, that is another TV trope uh, name. I always say we're done with caves for a while, but then we're back to caves. Uh. Let's see. There are jokes in uh, the Dark Souls series about how Miyazaki just loves swamps can't get enough of swamps and ever uh you didn't see any gameplay footage of cruelty squad did you no what uh, is that so cruelty squad has like a swamp level called bog business and what is it a cruelty squad yeah it's a immersive sim uh like a uh, game where you assassinate people it's the game that looks really fucking like crusty okay how am i supposed to do this I jump here? Can... Yes, I did. Okay, that that works. What'd you Weird say? Weird looking tiles here. Yeah, this, I think they're supposed to be rocks. Is it, well, is it the one you described as like a procedurally generated shooter or something? No, no, it's not procedurally generated. No, the, the guy... I, I think I remember the game you're, you told me about. I don't remember what is special about it. Uh, it looks, it looks the way it looks. Where, where is this? Where am I going? Then suddenly wolves. <sighs> or bats. I can deal with bats. Bats take like one or two shots to... Okay, okay, we're... We are where we need to be. Okay, let's pull the switch. Ah, machine's broken. Gotta fix it. Can you imagine an ancient civilization just building something like this? They're like... Living in, like, huts and stuff, and yet they are able to make this, like, machine, like, work. Crazy to me. I wish I knew. There used to be a way to, like, do sidestepping. I'm trying to remember how it works, and I just don't. Sidestep, please. Okay, this level's pretty much over now. Why'd I do that? Uh, sidestep left, right. L2, R2. Okay, well that's not working for me. Left, right? That's what it says. Okay. Or, you're using a controller, not a keyboard, right? I'm using a keyboard. Oh! I oh, can't, I'm uh, glad I got here. Z. We got, ladies and gentlemen, the shotgun. Great! Uh, we'll use that for certain. Is things. this one of the games that has a good shotgun? Um, it's okay. I think I I I think it's I I I'd say it's all right. Perfectly uh, acceptable shotgun. For keyboard, it says delete and page down or X and Z. Delete and page down. Okay, yeah. All right. Hello, Darian. Hey, Darian. Passed through the first couple of levels, we're at, uh, we're at Lost Valley, but we, we just killed the T-Rex, sorry. 
I see you don't have the like the chat on screen on your your end, right? I don't. That's why I said you you got to be my eyes and ears for that sort of thing. So this used to be a river. It's not here anymore. I can get over this. Okay, end of the level is just in here. Look at that pixelated water. Eh, it's pixelated is one way to describe it. Yeah. I think they just went a little too hardcore on, like, the foam on top. Like, yeah. it's translucent with solid white on top. Yeah, it's improved late in, like, uh, in, like, later games. They, they really improved how the water looks. Okay. Only 12 kills! And I, zero secrets. Shit. Whatever. Oh, in this level? Yeah. Alright, uh, this is the final level of the Peru section. We're, I'm just breezing through this. Uh, this level is called... We are at the Tomb of Qualipec. We will pick up the Skyon, we will give it to, uh, to our employer. Our, our employer? No, we're not getting paid for this. Okay. So this is Peru, and th this looks Mesopotamian. Is this accurate? Mm. Anyway. Right. So, I'm trying to remember. Is this where we fight Papu Papu? Papu Papu. Which Cortex boss is here? Look! It's, uh, it's what we're looking for! I'm gonna save this because uh, sometimes the cutscene doesn't play. I'm just, I'm lying. It's just, uh, oh. <laughs> Ah. Oh, that was bloodier than usual. Yeah. I, I don't think her like her like death rattles are really selling it though. Ow! Ah. Right. Well, we're not going that way. Let's go uh, this way. When I saw this, uh, I was living in because I was living in Vegas at the time, and I'm looking at this. I'm like, this just looks like the Flamingo Hilton and shit. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe they would base a level off of a casino. Alright, I get it now. What the- OH MY GOD, MORE VELOCITY! What? Doing like the, uh, the Joker flips. It's impressive that she can aim perfectly while doing that. She is- she's a badass, she's just- She's like, you just point me at a target, I will I will take him out. So this was before the Matrix. Uh 96? Yeah, yeah, it was way before the Matrix. I have a Matrix level in Tomb Raider Chronicles. It's fucking bizarre. Okay. Okay, I remember this this part. Um so there's one switch, and there's another switch. This this really looks like Emperor's New Groove levels now. Yeah, I mean, what was uh, Emperor's New Groove? What like uh, art style were they trying to go for? Or I'm trying I, to. I think it's like Aztec. I don't know the difference between a Aztec and Mayan. It's weird because I don't oh, think there's... Mayans were in Peru. Yeah. Uh, there's Incan. Is it Incan? Is it Mayan? Is it Peruvian? The Atlantean, you don't know. I'm gonna look up Emperor's New Groove and see what it has to say about the uh, so the can, setting. So you can do these puzzles in any order, I think. Inspired by ancient Peruvian culture and set in an Incan empire. So Incan. I'm guessing Incan. This is Incan, got it. Because the idol is, is very similar in style to Emperor's New Groove. Okay, so stuff. this is... So they, this is a lost artifact in an ancient Incan city and temple, with dinosaurs. They managed to t these Incans managed to tame dinosaurs, and I guess the dinosaurs ate them. It's just game just has this is like hey, there's dinosaurs now. Deal with it. Uh, what just opened? You hear that shit? Yeah. I have no idea what I just did. Okay. It looked like this opened, like the way you're going now. Well, I was, I got here. 
by jumping? I jumped up there. No? Oh no, I went down on like a there. These look like pushable blocks. Are they pushable? Uh, no, the, the switches move them. That, right. that switch over there. I need to get that to that switch over there. I think over here. And... Right. Oh, okay, cool. All right, that moves it over there. Oh, we got spikes. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not spikes. They're, uh... I gotta get down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'll probably just be a mild damage hit. Oh no, not at all. Got it. cool. My health like. Oh, my health is fine. Okay, so that's set. I'm gonna head over here and set the other one. And I and I'm gonna pray I don't need. I didn't fuck anything up, and I can just I can just finish the puzzle. Oh yeah, yeah. This will this will be fine. I think. Right down here. So did, I'm trying to remember in Hunter Hunter did were there like treasure hunters in uh Yeah. Yeah, there were. So Laura Croc would be like a treasure hunter, right? <clears throat> and her nend ability would just be like infinite ammo guns. Sure. Yeah. I can't remember anyone in any of the characters who were treasure hunters, but they must have existed. Yeah, they must have. There were food hunters. Food Sorry, hunters. gourmet hunters. Yeah. It's weird because this isn't the. This, there's just so many temples and lost things that like people haven't really discovered yet. And there's. I want to say this again because the FMV like says that Bigfoot exists. Yeah. He exists, and she got him. And That's kind of the. And they don't retcon it in the anniversary. All right, you want to... Er. I, I don't know why you're so surprised by that. Like, of all the things that would exist in this... That's, oh, that looked unpleasant. That's visceral as fuck. Like, there's a reason why this game terrified me as a kid. All right. I have to try and... So actually, and actually, if you're on ground level with spikes and you try to run through them, you'll take passive damage. Yeah. Okay. That's All kind right. of a problem with, like, any of these Indiana Jones-inspired kind of explorer things. Yeah. Is that they rely on the assumption that there's all this shit still out there to find. Yeah. And and in a world like that, that's, like, a very interesting world, which implies that, like, that, like we haven't necessarily conquered ancient <laughs> civilizations yet. Just, like, we have, we have the ability to communicate via Wi-Fi. Presumably we got spy satellites and shit, but... Just like people look at the that, like certain areas and go like, no, it's too dangerous. Now and, and oh, another fucking raptor. Which raises questions about what else might have happened in that world's history, because obviously people are less inclined to explore. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But does America exist? How was it founded? By America, accident? I will say this: America does exist. Um, well, no you, shit. You go there. You go there in the third game, and and for a reason uh, I would get to later. You have you have to go there first in the third game. Uh, uh, anyway, um, that'd be a hell of a lore thing to drop. Is that America just doesn't exist in this continuity? Um, you want to know something funny? What? Uh, the game, uh, Fear and Hunger. Uh, America, as you know it in that game, doesn't exist because uh. <laughs> Is this, oh, this is a block. Fuck, this, this is the block puzzle one, which I guess makes it the easiest one. Um, it's because Mo America is inhabited by a bunch of, like, monsters and shit. Yeah. And they just, now, and at, by the time of, like, that universe's uh, World War II, or World War I, uh, they just, uh, they weren't able to, uh, <laughs> they, they, they weren't able to, like, join up because it was still a relatively new country or something. Which is which is how I imagine they're just like pockets of civilization, and I will also say this as well: it's not like a oh, fuck. <sighs> Forgot that was there. Uh, it's not like cities are much safer in uh in fucking uh, Tomb Raider verse. I think something bad happened in this uh 
in this universe that just depopulated a lot of like places and it, it's just now they're starting to recover yeah like <laughs> the first the first major section in Tomb Raider 2 is Venice and there's fucking nobody there in Venice except for enemies that are trying to kill you no tourists have... no locals but this is just kind of something you notice incidentally. It's not something that the game like points out or is a thought about part of the. No, world but you more. know how. I, but you know how I, I consume media is that I is that I think about the implications of this kind of stuff, and which makes the in retrospect makes the Tomb Raider universe just very fascinating. Yeah. Okay, I remember this part now. Um, I like series that do that in in like intentionally, like the fact yeah. that. Russia no longer exists in the world of Steven Universe, and the series makes no comment about this. Yeah. So that's you just which... have to look at a world map. That's which doesn't exist. Anybody here? Oh, just wolves? Oh, that's a cakewalk compared to the fucking... Or how the localizers for uh, the Phoenix Wright series have decided that uh, it exists in a world where Japan, Japan won World War II and, somehow... and took partial control of America. So they so was that does that imply that uh, that like the Germans were defeated but uh, but Japan like won their battle they didn't drop I the don't know especially because it's a localization thing so it's not canon to the original games it's just their way of saying that no this isn't Japan this is California Japan it's, but it's got Japanese culture in it it's Japan California it's yeah. like it's a uh, it's Grand it's San Francisco fucking ninety degrees over here by the way I, I i feel like i should mention that yeah if i can take a water break I'll, it'll just be temporary the spikes down there no it's a uh, okay it's a health pack it's the opposite of spikes i don't trust this game this game just sent me into like a side area with wolves and no fucking items and no secrets the floor is gonna break away onto spikes yeah <laughs> The floors in this game are pretty obvious. Um, they they aren't. I don't think they are in later games. The breakaway floors. Yeah. Again, this game is kind of uh, primitive compared to two and three. Their FMV cutscenes get better though. Oh, I'm loaded. I'm glad I'm loaded with health packs. All right. Side area is done. Now, let's get back to the main... There's gonna be another fucking raptor, isn't there? I kind of want to play, uh, like, Crash Bandicoot music in the background of this, just to see how <laughs> it affects the atmosphere. If you want to do highlights for this, you can, and, uh, and just add Crash Bandicoot music. I'll give you full creative control! Might I come back down there? Good thing I saved. There's a lot of silence in this game. Yeah, why isn't... Now it's playing. And you know what? In the original PC version, I, I, did I mention that in the original PC version that there was, they, they removed the music? It was just either silence or this. So yeah. yeah, it is a very quiet game, which is, you know, these days I find it relaxing. Back then I found it terrifying. There would be times where I would play like a little bit of it and I'd run out to the living room. And I go back and then play some more of it and then run out to the living room. So Saturn was the hardest and most primitive version of this game. Yeah, it seems like it. It still doesn't sound nearly as bad as, like, the original version of Rayman. Um, Because yeah. PS1 added the level select screen, like the overworld. Before that, it was just a string of levels beginning to end, as I understand. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds kind of shitty. Rayman was hard, was needlessly hard for the sake of being hard. Eh. Def definitely better when you have, like, when you can select levels at least. Yeah. Saving so much. I am I am a save scummer. I'm kidding. What are the, are there achievements for Rayman? Probably. Uh, and... Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Darts. Look at the Tomb Raider on the Game Boy Color. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, look at this room, by the way. I, I I do like the level design. I do think that the game, like for how it is, it's it gets pretty gorgeous at times. It's definitely a lot more colorful than the caves were. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, it starts off the game. This game kind of starts off like kind of like simple with the uh, in the very beginning, and then later levels just look look amazing or horrifying. Oh, look, we found it! It's the sky on. The sky on. The sky on. See on? I don't know. By the way, um, you want you want to see something something kind of uh, terrifying? Sure. Right. Look, look at these mummies. Right. Look. Yeah. It's fucking terrifying. There's like a guy on a throne, and look at that. And... That's okay. If they could talk, then they would be having a wacky, like, skeleton conversation yeah, with each other. Yeah, probably. Like, the throne would kick you. What? Why are you pointing your... Wait a minute! It's looking at us! It's looking at it me! Is? Yeah, it's looking at me! I didn't notice that before. Oh, so whatever. So they actually attack you, or...? Well, so in this game, when I first came out, it... So... Yeah, they seem immune. Whatever. Let's get okay, the... so they're gonna activate once you pick this up. Or at least that guy guess. is, maybe. What do you think about that, buddy? It's weird. Used to be okay. So in the original version of this game, the guy would the guy you would walk up and the guy would jump down, jump out and like do like one scare. I guess they didn't yeah. do that. I guess they removed that. Oh, that's right. I didn't trigger the boulder. I have to I'll have to run around it. Let's see if that works. Oh, the trigger points all the way down there. What a shitty life that guy had. Yeah. He's just been standing there in one place for like a thousand years, and then you come up and you shoot him. By the way, I did the Indian the uh, method of just oh, I'm just gonna back out and let the boulder do its thing. Follow that boulder, Laura. <laughs> so I looked up the uh, the Tomb Raider Game Boy Color game. It does yeah. not have any achievements. It looks like a 2D platformer. It's a side scroller. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, well we're uh, out. Uh, let us uh, let us go. And retrieve Jump our reward. Right. Oh shit, we're getting. Why are we losing health? <sighs> what? Why are you losing health? Uh, we're, we're, we're oh, being... there's a guy shooting you? Yeah. Who the fuck is this? He seems familiar. Hey, we got He's... him! Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn That's Larson. Yet. Of course. Hoosin? Larson. Larson. piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! <laughs> You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natlin. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Fucking wasted it with a kick. <laughs> So, so I probably missed most of the intro cinematic. I have no idea who this person is. That's Larson. Uh, that was the person who introduced, uh, like, uh, Natla, the, hey, you want to do this for me? Sorry, I only play for sport, is a double cross. Oh. For some reason, she's not getting, it's not like she's paying her for it. For the privilege of hunting for, like, sky on pieces or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it just she just is like, uh, fuck it, I'm a betrayer. Doing it only for sport seems like she'd be a pain in my ass. Just wants to keep the artifact for herself. Whatever. All right. This next one's gonna be an F and B cutscene, so uh, prepare for for a lot of noise.
Did she really have to cut her elevator for that? Relocated now to yes. St. Francis's folly. New temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiokan, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the Creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. Alright, section two is Greece. My toes sweat at such possibilities. <laughs> Pierre's kind. Of, you will find out later on that Pierre is kind of an asshole. He's, he's fu it's fucking hilarious. All right, so what's this? This is uh. Where are we now? We are in Greece. Why? That's why I said welcome to Greece. This is Saint Francis's Folly. I don't know why it's called Saint Francis's Folly. Maybe he's like trying to build this and it didn't work out. Oh look, we're in Greece, he, so that he, means lions. He claimed that we're about to unlock powers beyond God himself. Uh, that's what he claims. Lions are hit hard, I just realized. Okay, one down. Oh, shit. Oh, I got them both. Flippy shit. Flippy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Laura Croft is the greatest cruiserweight uh, known. It's her, her versus Kilua. Uh... Give me a moment. I'm trying to get my bearings as to how this level uh, works. This is where the levels kind of get more complicated, which is why I was like wanting to get through Peru as quickly as possible. She's not wearing her glasses in game. No, right? it's just some cutscenes. She actually that was they were actually wanting her to wear glasses in game, but they were like, eh, and they just kept her cool ass glasses. Oh, not that one. I don't really like the glasses. Uh. Well, then, then they made it the right choice. You probably would have played this, enjoyed this game more if you played it. Round glasses. It made her. It makes her look. Those are some Matrix glasses. All right. There. So there's a there's a genre on retro achievements called cinematic platforming. Is this is this on it? Well, the 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 Game Boy game is. Yeah, the Tomb Raider is. I wonder what that means. Like, platforming that tries to be realistic? I want to say that this game... It, 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 like, you ever you ever played the original Prince of Persia? Yeah, that's on the list. Yeah, this is... This Odd, game's... Odd World. Oh, shit. Gorillas! Kerchek! It's not a long list. It's weird, because we're... What the spawned clay check? Uh, the... Was it just a misspeak? Yeah, we misspoke because we were Clayton and Kerchek, and we were just like, they fused together and to create the ultimate, like, uh, master of the jungle. Okay, does that open the... Yeah, no it doesn't. Okay, so that's further up. I don't remember if Clayton happened one. in the Kingdom Hearts streams or if it happened off stream. I think it was... it might have been one or the other. So she's just killing all these, like, creatures that could be considered endangered, which means either they're not endangered or she gives no fucks. I want to say it's the former, considering how, like, apparently uncharted a lot of the, the wild is in this game. I'm an explorer, not an environmentalist. She is a colonialist. Uh... Okay. Alright, I'm getting back into the flow. So, th this, uh... Oh man, you're gonna you're gonna love this next section. They they actually oh shit, it's Pierre. <laughs> How many bullets is this motherfucker full of? No, that's uh, that's the last guy was Larson. This is uh, this oh. is Pierre. Okay, this is the toes guy. Yeah, his toes sweat with such possibility. He's gone. This guy's inability is that he can teleport. I think. There are Rayman achievements. Um, I hope I hope you like seeing Pierre. He's gonna show up like a bunch more times. Oh, we got a mini boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, a yeah. mid boss. Yeah, a recurring boss. 
Okay, I think now if I move the uh, the block, it'll open the other one, and then I got to do a series of uh, of uh, bizarre jumps to get up there. What? I guess not. Oh no, it's already up there. Okay. Jump, jump. My. Uh. Can I make? Can I make that? Oh, Big just jump. short. It's a good thing you didn't dive. I don't. There's no diving is just a meme. Like I, as oh, as, it's not actually useful at any point. I mean, I think I think it is for speedrunners because it like it like uh, affects like how. Okay, I get it now. I gotta move this block back. It's not actually useful being over there. You want to talk about uh, realism? I watched uh, Joel's stream of uh, Shenmue recently. Oh, which one? Your uh, the or... first one. Okay, he gets he's kind of pissed off in the at the third one. Oh yeah. Yeah, but uh, and uh, uh, one one of the options in that game is for the weather to use actual meteor meteorological data from that those days in Japan. Oh wow, that's uh that's pretty interesting. But who the fuck would know? Like Dude. someone's gonna play the game and be like, well, you yeah, know, this was pretty good, but I remember the weather on this day and it wasn't the same as in the game. Yeah, boomers like like people who would remember that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. I, I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to do a running jump. I just need. Is to this do... game presumed to take place at the time it was released? Is this 1996? Is it contemporary? Probably. I, I don't remember them having like such great wireless tech. Uh, shit. I don't remember them having such great wireless tech back in the 90s, though. I don't. I didn't see any like antennas on that computer. That Larson was showing in uh, in that FMV. The only technological advantage that this universe has is they they've invented infinite gun ammunition. No, that's just Nin capabilities. That's her Nin. All right, another. Yeah, that'll be good. I doubt it. I'm gonna look up Laura Croft Hunter Hunter. See if there's like fan art. That's my headcanon for this universe, that it takes place in, like, the Hunter Hunter universe. No, but she's in Fortnite. <laughs> Who isn't at this point? <laughs> yeah. Like, you tell me X is in Fortnite, I'd be like, I'm so, I would be surprised if they weren't in Fortnite. When's Jerry Springer gonna be in Fortnite? Oh, fuck. Okay. okay, so her old design is in Brawlhalla. It looks like her newer design is in Fortnite. You know what, that's fair. Brawlhalla is for is for older dudes who, are, who want the classic thing, and then then you have her new design. I fucked up the platforming. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, despite me like oh, shit, this does not bode well for the rest of of this level. This is level f four or five. Uh, this is level five. Four was a uh, was the tomb of Qualifek. And that was actually that was actually only like fifteen minutes. This one is gonna take is gonna be the like on the longer side. How much harder do the uh, levels get as they go? Uh, in this game, uh, yeah, pretty pretty more complicated. Um, but it's more just. So being five out of fifteen levels isn't necessarily one third of the way through the game. Uh, we are we are technically one fourth of the way through the game, by by those kinds of metrics. Um. Yeah, uh, what, what you said. Okay, almost there. Well, fortunately, we're done with this room, I think. Are we? That looks like a... Oh, that looks like a, like a secret. Oh, well. Okay. And jump. Nope. Okay, you want to talk about so uh, 
I gotta get out of here quickly before the crocodile gets me. Down your croc! Into the... <laughs> so yeah, um, you said like, oh, the killer fish, and then, and then yeah, they just, this game drops a fucking crocodile, because otherwise water is like safe, because the animals can't get you, but then, yeah. Was the threat of drowning not enough? Nope. You know what? There's actually, first of all... Wait, where the fucking... Where'd he go? The guy, the guy got shot twice and then, and then, and then wisely decided to leave. Oh no, there he is. I think I can outrun him though. Now this is just Temple Run, says Darian. He's, he's way behind. Alright. Delrog, is there something up with your mic? Uh... I'm, I, this is being streamed from Jack's system and I'm on Discord, so maybe we're like getting a little bit of connection stuttering here and there. Probably. I don't, I, you sound fine to me. I've heard like, okay. Futurama is now in Fortnite. Yeah, and? <laughs> Taronga Leela versus Dope. There you go. Ooh. Okay, welcome to the main hub of the level. So, uh... So... You just have, like, the music locations memorized? No, I, I know... I just know this section, because this section is is hilarious. Uh, this what... looks like a room from the 3D Noid game. <laughs> it's Not all... in a bad way, it was a good game. Yeah. Oh, hold on, bats. Fucking bats! You know what the bats in Minecraft are? Scenery. <laughs> the bats? Why is everything in this game out to kill you? I know, right? You were like trying to like yell at me for. Oh, oh look. I... Uh, if I, I I tried to catch it, but um, but if you're shooting, then Laura's face changes from like her passive like uh, face to uh, just yeah, looking like angry. Her face. Yeah, she's like. Yeah, she's... like it, like in the cutscene when she shot the wolves. Oh yeah. She just, just <laughs> girl next door, except when she wakes her bola. So we're gonna have to go to the four. Uh... I would not describe Laura as girl next door in any context. So we have uh, the four, uh, four like uh, Greek gods that uh, that we're going to have to uh, to uh, get their uh, chambers open and uh, course, complete their puzzles. So we have yeah. uh, we have the first god, Neptune. All right, <laughs> gonna be a lot of water here. Yeah. Uh... Hold on. Oh, shit. Neptune and his pet crocodile. We have Atlas. We have... Was Atlas even a god? Uh... Don't worry about it. <laughs> we have... Hold on. God. So this is one of the rare rooms that if you jump off, Laura will scream. Because it's just that high. Yeah. Is there a ground at the bottom, or is it just an endless fall? There's, there's a ground. There's no, like, endless pits in this game. You fall, it'll suck. At got... Atlas was a titan. Yeah, so we have Neptune, Atlas. I'll I'll introduce the rest when I get to him. I just want to make sure I hit all the switches. This level, because each room has to be double unlocked. I don't I don't really like how uh, how they do how they do it in this in this part. Oh shit! When did I last see? Shit! When did I last? That was see? the most brutal thing in this game. Was oh, the look, bone crack look, look, look! 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 The next room, the the Greek god Thor. You see that shit? What? Look! To the Thor. I'm over. Thor, it's to the right. Oh, you don't see it? All right, I'll show it no, off. I guess I don't. Oh, right. there. Okay, I see it. Thor. Oh fuck! I did not save it. You gotta remind me to save, bro. I'm not gonna remember, man. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to fight Pierre again. Or not, I guess I guess he fucked off. Okay. Did I un There's or... apparently a Tomb Raider mobile oh, game. Fuck, I gotta do the monkey part again. Damn it. This is this is why I gotta remember to save. This game doesn't I agree. Come on, monkeys! I'm gonna fight all these fucking monkeys again. Gorillas. Bruno Mars! Alright, 
I know what to do though. It'll be it'll be pretty easy. I can't believe you would kill 2D and Murloc. You know, they they're gonna they were it was either them or me. And I need I need I have I have a mission now. I need to stop uh, them from getting all three pieces of this ski on. And uh, you know. Oh no! Oh god! Why'd I she? Why'd I uh, holster my my uh, magic guns? She doesn't look like she turns very quickly. Uh, no. This is technically faster. Oh, you uh, mentioned there was like tank controls. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes combat kind of kind of funny. <laughs> Rotating right. slowly so that I may shoot my opponent. Well, I get a second chance to hit that secret at least. So, hello, Pierre. If I circle, no, I'm too close. He's gonna, he's gonna kill me this way. Okay, yeah, he's gonna kill me. Okay, did he? Nope, he did despawn. What does Pierre look like to you? Does he look familiar? Uh, I no. It's too far away to tell. What? He, he just, yeah, he told you. That's the first time I've ever seen him. I've seen him despawn like that. All right. Well, fortunately, I know what to do now. I don't have to wait to do it. Um, but <sighs> save. Yeah, so oh, there's shit. a Tomb Raider more, uh, mobile game called Tomb Raider Reloaded. Oh, Reloaded. What? Okay. And it it looks like that. Uh, it it looks like Fortnite, but chibi. It looks like multiverses is the art style. Uh, okay. Sounds sounds like a game. The game is game to every game. Like it's game, y'all. It's game, y'all. It's. Release in on February fourteenth, twenty twenty three. So that's what they're doing with the series. Okay, yeah. And I feel old. Okay. I, is this a secret? Okay. What was oh, the most recent thing before oh, that. I remember this. This is this is this is actually kind of neat. All right, let me uh, try this. Right. Tomb Raider series. Okay, there was the 2013 reboot that had two games. Uh, Shadow uh, of the three. Tomb Raider was the most recent oh, one. Oh, yeah, three, I think. So we got Tomb Raider, Rise, and Shadow. And I haven't... I haven't heard anybody talk about uh, Shadow. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't like the new... I didn't like the new one, like, a whole lot. Um, Let me go to the article, see it. It lists like reception to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I think I think it looked, I, the cover looks edgy as shit. Yeah, I know, right? Um, if you were to tell me like what to uh, like, just you know what to what uh, what Rise with the Tomb Raider, like uh, the new Tomb Raider uh, trilogy plays like, it plays what? like an Ubisoft game. Like, uh, like a bad Assassin's Creed. It it just plays like a generic like open world game. It like this game like not everybody would like it, but at least like it's got like a consistent design philosophy. An identity. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this. I'm just gonna. Wait, no, I'm doing this all wrong. Let me just do this. Upon release, Shadow of the Tomb Raider got off to a slow start in sales, attributed by Square Enix president to a lack of originality compared to other titles at the time. Oh, no kidding. Okay, I, I don't know how to get up there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back to uh back to just the route I'm taking. An anime-style series adaptation based on the reboot franchise was in the works. Oh, yeah? I thought that was that movie that I... I don't know. There was a... So uh... You mentioned Netflix, but... I don't know, it doesn't have any more recent status. After a certain point when you fall, she just gives up on trying to grab something and just raises her arms like, Well, shit, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... 
go back to where we were. I don't know what I don't know how to get up to that secret. There's like some weird platforming involved. <clears throat> Uh, so five years ago was the latest mainline Tomb Raider game. Yeah, it's a while, but it hasn't been that long. Uh, Crystal Dynamics, I heard, is like working on like a yet another reboot. I don't know what they're doing with it. But, like, I there's no like word on it. It's just the project is just called Tomb Raider. So presumably they're growing tired of the whole uh, of the whole uh, like uh, weak and helpless Laura as well, maybe. Nathan Drake kind of entered the fray, and then it was like, do we need two of these kinds of series, I yeah, guess? Yeah, well, I mean... I'm not speaking Nathan... myself, I'm just saying I feel like people who probably played Uncharted first probably aren't clamoring for more Tomb Raider, so now there's two of these that have to compete with each other. Yeah, well... <sighs> Well, this game is more. I, I feel like the, this game's strength is just like about exploration, and whereas uh, whereas Uncharted was like all about like combat and stuff. And this game it definitely got more, it seemed more actiony than Tomb Raider. Yeah, I played it. It is like very actiony and um, and very this, and like, very movie like and very movie isolation. -like. Yeah, like I said, that that game is a game. This game is a game I would want to play if I just wanted like a chill time. The other game is a game I would play if I want to, like, just have, like, a cathartic time. Okay, save now. Alright. This can triple-digit save file. It's been more recently than we had a Spyro game. Yeah, well, it does, I guess Reignited doesn't count. Yeah, it was a, re a remake. Which, as far as I'm aware, did well, so it's kind of a shame we didn't get anything after that. Yeah. Why do I not grab that? It seems weird sometimes with like, you're allowed to grab this, but you're not allowed to grab this. Fucking bats again. Okay, let me check. One was the, uh... Legend of... Okay, Spyro Reignited was 2018, so that was the same year as the most recent Tomb Raider. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> yeah, that works. I'm guessing it's because the other one was just a little bit, like... Oh, this is mean! You see this shit? They, they don't want you to jump here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, and, and then I trigger another bat. Whatever. I'm gonna hit the switch. Oh, I opened the door to Thor. You know, Greek god of lightning, Thor. Do you not get what I'm putting down? Hello? Yeah? Yeah, do you not get what, what I'm- What? There's a Thor door. I know! But... No, 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 no! Thor isn't Greek! Thor's Nordic! Oh, oh yeah. He's Norse! He got- Well, at least he's a god, though. <laughs> so in this universe, like, Thor is- was co-opted by Greece, by Grecians. This is this this is secretly the same universe as like uh one one of the Kratos timelines. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's all these gods exist in tandem. I, I need to I wanna unlock all the uh all and I, and they're mostly on this pillar. I think one of them is on the bottom. Did y'all make the triangle boobs joke yet? Uh, I mentioned Kim Possible. That, oh yeah, the game's polygon. I, I was yeah. Honestly, the game hasn't aged badly. All right, let's go. Greek god of Thor. It could look a lot Greek worse god than a PS One game. Greek god of lightning. Not Zeus. Thor. Zeus is the, is a, is a. One right. does not simply walk through Thor door. Yeah, you want to see something cool? Was a uh, ancient. Electric technologies. Yeah. I have no idea how to get through there without taking damage, so I'm just I just take the damage. Okay. And you nearly got it right. He's got Thor's got the hammer. What? 
If you stay, do you go splat? I saved, so let's just fucking show it off. Ow! Ow! It's such an underreaction. I mean, if you were hit with it that hard, then then it would you wouldn't really have time to react. You wouldn't scream. Goes ape shit when she gets shocked. There we go. Crazy to think that these guys also did the Gex games. They did? They did. Yeah, they did. Holy shit, I forgot about that. Okay, um. Do you think we're gonna get Tomb Raider on the Switch? If it isn't oh, already? Oh, fuck no. Like, the original? No way. They're putting Gex on it. Well, maybe maybe they will then. <laughs> Nobody cares about Gex. There's too much money in Tomb Raider. <laughs> Come on. I like how there's this frantic music playing. Like this is a boss battle or something. Yeah. No, it's just electric and, uh, and a big hammer. So our objective is to get four keys. So uh, I'll say I'll say this now because I don't know if it'll uh, if it'll be obvious uh, when we get there. But the last one is Damocles. Like the principal. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, I, I was thinking, wait, is that another name for Hercules? But no. Who is Damocles? Oh, the sword of Damocles. That guy. He was a king. He wasn't a god. So only one of the four Greek god doors is a Greek god. And maybe it's just Greek figures, except for Thor, who... <laughs> it's just... You've got one Greek god, one Greek titan, one Norse god, and one fucking dude, a that king. Was, that was St. Francis' folly. He didn't know shit about, like, his own, like, culture. Make this jump? I don't know if I can make this jump. I, I should. I. I. I, I ought to. Be able to. Oh no, he's Damocles. Isn't even the king. He's the dude who approached the king. Yeah. Dionysius. He. Wait, Dionysius? D yeah, Dionysius was the king in that the story of the Sword of Damocles. I thought that was a god, the god of hedonism or and shit. The name of the, is this silver key? Well, Thor even key. so, that Sorry, doesn't Thor mean that the god. Thor key. And look, we have the ski on now. Look at it, it's beautiful. No, D Dionysius was a king. Oh. Apparently a real dude. Makes sense. His logic is sound, that like, hey, you want to be a top god, then... Or no, was it D was uh, Damocles the one who was like, I could do your job, and then the king was like, oh yeah? Uh, the sort of Damocles story is that Damocles goes to the king and says, like, you're so fortunate to be in, like, a position of, like, fortune and power without equal. And the king's like, oh, yeah? Well, how about <laughs> this? You're king now. And, and then he hangs a sword above the throne to show Damocles what it, fe what it feels like to be in, like, that much responsibility. I didn't take damage that time! This room, this room sucks. This all right. I'm sure there's a method to it. I'm sure. Logically, you shouldn't be shocked if you're like in the air, right? Oh, is that it? Okay, Damocles is down there. Okay, there's another one. Oh God, Pierre! <laughs> <laughs> what? Tough. <laughs> Laura's tough. <sighs> Firing at me with magnums too. Those things are supposed to hurt. Okay. They knew what they were doing with those sound effects. <laughs> no, the... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, she's... Oh, Neptune. Yeah, the one near the bottom is goes the one all the way to the top. Thanks, game. I like this level, except for the... Except for the traversal... The traversal points. It... Did it despawn? It's crazy just how often PlayStation has shifted mascots. I don't know that they've shifted mascots. Like, none of them have officially been oh, mascots. Come on, Pierre, you litter bug. Come 
the mind. closest was Crash. Like, Crash and uh, Cloud were like the most iconic PlayStation faces crap, 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 in the crap, eras crap. of console wars. I... I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I see that you're you're flipping and shooting the man again. You're such shit. Eh? Just... Is there any functional difference between the, 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 the dude shooting you bosses? Or are they all just dudes standing there and shooting you? Uh, well, this guy, this guy comes and goes. This one can teleport, that is true. Yeah. Okay, this is probably... Wait, there's a way to open this later. I... Oh, I think I remember. Well, I'm, I'm down here anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this, uh... It's not really like Sony as a company decided, okay, this is going to be our mascot. We're gonna put all our production and fun... We're gonna sponsor this character oh. and make him the face of our system. That didn't really happen with them. No. This they just kind of let everyone make their own games and do their own things, and Crash happened to be the one that was the most popular at the early PlayStation era. That was... Alright. Uh... Oh, better start climbing. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a... Did I get that switch down here? Yeah, I did. Okay. Is this room going to slowly fill with water? No. No, he actually drained it from water, I guess. Or something. Where's the fourth switch? I want to get worms working again. I forgot how much. We played a lot of that in the yeah, older worms, days. Worms is fun. That bat's just chilling up there. It's just like, yep, yeah, I'm just here. Oh, you pissed me off. Don't go after my ammo. Stupid keys. God. God. Here's a dumb question. What's up? Tomb Raider randomizer. Probably. Probably levels and enemies. GitHub. Tomb Raider game randomizer. Game randomizer? How many bats are in this fucking... Like, hall. Would you call it a hall or like a tower? If this were realistic, there'd be way more than you're dealing with. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Randomizes locations of secrets and their rewards. Randomizes pickups, including key items. That's. That sounds. That sounds hellish. Is this is randomizes for... what levels Lara loses her guns and ammo for? <laughs> no. Okay, Damocles is the only one we don't have, and I have no idea where that switch is. Is this Tomb Raider? Yeah, I think this is Tomb Raider 1. It looks way better than the version we're playing. It must be like a texture pack or something. Yeah, probably. I didn't want to do the texture pack, because I, I wanted to be nostalgic. I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that. No, it's, I don't care. Okay. I, I, it's, it's good for me to see what the game originally looked like. Yeah, I don't want to... Uh, I got the texture pack working for the Majora Ocarina thing after we did our run of it. Oh, well, when we do the run again in the uh, sometime in the future, we can do the texture pack. We do an N64 uh, Zelda one, yeah. There are now texture packs for the uh, the PC port. So oh, yeah? it should look pretty nice next time we do that. Right, I'm still trying to keep an eye out for the uh, last switch, and I'm... Oh, is that it? Oh, I think this is the one I... No, I didn't choose to toggle this one. Okay, Damocles is open. All right. So, all right, cool. Save now, so I don't... So Pierre doesn't fucking get me again. Okay... All right, we'll work out. We'll start from the. I'll start from the very top and work my way down. I do not want to climb this uh, this section again. So, what's her hair in this game? She she has a ponytail, but it's like she has a ponytail in a bun. It's yeah, because they wanted to get the ponytail working in this game, but they couldn't. They think they got it uh, done in time for two. Uh, they have it in cutscenes, but not in the the game itself. Yeah, in limitation of the engine. Uh, but yeah, that's her iconic thing. Is she got like a, a ponytail? When she was younger, she did it in, like, uh, pigtails. Because she was the girl next door, I guess. Alright. 
St. Francis's folly. You don't know what fucking gods are which? I'm sorry, master. Am I gonna make it? Okay, good. I'm not the saint of knowledge. That'll work. And a run jump. Is that gonna work? Yes, okay. All right, Neptune. I think this one is like the, uh, Dolphins. Dolphin. Jotaro likes dolphins. I wonder, did, did Greeks know what dolphins were? Dolphins in Greece. Okay. You gotta basically do this in one shot, because that grate suctions you down, you can't get air again. Ancient Greeks were aware of golf were aware, were aware of dolphins and gave oh. them the name Heros is this meaning sacred fish. Sacred fish. Oh, cool. The fish were sacred. Oh, this was that was easy. Not too bad. First try, and hopefully only try. <laughs> All right. That Thor chamber was kind of stupid. That yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. <laughs> in, in terms of conception, or just the fact that it, yeah, <laughs> we'll put in a giant hammer and an electric orb. Yeah, to protect our uh... represent Thor. <laughs> you know that Greek god. <laughs> I'm glad you're catching on as to how silly that that was. Greek god Thor. <laughs> There's a reason why I like this game so much. This universe is so weird. Greek god Thor. He, he moved. Okay, Atlas. Well, it feels almost like a parody of the Indiana Jones type story because they're trying to take this seriously, but not that seriously. Yeah. This is back in, in the time where uh, we're the only people that really cared about plot. Oh, it's Atlas. It's Atlas's def monkey defender. What's the infamous quote about plot in video games? Uh, plot in, in video games is like porn. Is like a plot in porn. Is that the Doom guy? Uh, John Car Doom? John Carmack. Yes. I think it was John Carmack. I might be wrong. You look that quote up. Ow! Did that damage you? Hope not. Okay. Don't really remember how to do this room properly. I think you gotta, like, jump. Remember when Edward Elric, like, crammed into the corner so that the boulder rolled past him? That was a fucking masterstroke. Mm. No one else really does that. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe I pulled that off! Hey, do me a favor. Go back to that gate back there. Oh yeah, the this one? Uh, yeah, the one you came in through. And yeah. just, like, uh, continuously hop with your arms up. Okay. Like, like up the- up down the path. I want to see how, like, Pepe Le Pew she gets. Boing. Boing. She has to, like, do a couple of running jumps. If you want to okay. do it, like, normal, you just do it like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> 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 Is there something up there? Probably not. I, I I seriously can't believe I pulled off that jump. That I I don't think that's how you're supposed to do that. But is there a secret up here, or is this where I'm supposed to? Go? Oh, this is this is this is natural. All right. And then after this is Damocles. I remember this level taking like hours, like when I was younger. All right. So we'll go as long as you feel like going. I, oh, I, I appreciate it. I've been meaning to. I just, I just wanted to stream this game because I've been meaning to play this game again, to go down a nostalgic lane. And this I game considered. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go on. No, you go on. I'm sorry. I. I considered uh, restreaming, the like Crash Bandicoot one with the like achievements thing I discovered, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. really like show up in a way that would like look good on stream for Bizhawk. Yeah, you mentioned that that. Uh... This hawk was, uh... I've been, uh, since we... 
got we got money we got monetization again on youtube that's good i wonder which do you think you think us unlisting some of our old stuff was uh was what like was the turning point no that happened after the monetization i think we just finally got up to enough subscribers again for the new limit or something Wait, what but uh hold on is there a lion oh my why the wait pierce summon lions at me he's okay go on uh yeah, so since we got the monetization, I've gone back and I've been uh, I've been unlisting a lot of our older, like the oldest, really shitty streams. Yeah, and uh, and some of our uh, other. Did you unlist yeah. the other? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I unlisted the after dark stuff. Uh, I it mean, still exists, but it's not in the main like uh, search stuff because yeah. otherwise, it shows up in like uh, our most popular videos on the channel. Yeah, and it's not really indicative of the content we do anymore. Yeah. To certain people's dismay, but, uh, you know. I wouldn't mind if YouTube allowed it, but they don't, so no yeah. sense pursuing that. Yeah. Uh, all right, Damocles, as you guess. <laughs> the, the most childish, literal interpretations of these characters. <laughs> At least it gives the you a hint. white will have stones fall on them. Don't worry, they're not active yet. Okay. And... Yeah, I skimmed over my book, my sixth grade history book. St. <laughs> Francis' folly, this was his folly. He made a shitty tomb. A shitty, like, gate. Okay, and... <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. This is so corny, it's something a Venture Brothers villain would come oh, up with. Yeah. Ow. Oh, shit. Again, there's probably a way to uh, do this uh, level properly. I don't know what it is. Alright. Did I get all the keys? I think I did. I already put the Thor one down there. Yeah, I did. Okay. Level is almost over. Are there Lagoon achievements? Beating the game in and of itself is probably just an achievement. There are. Someone bothered to program achievements for Lagoon. That's cool. This fucking... These fucking lions! The max level in Lagoon is only 35? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna... Alright, one down. Come and get your meat, lion! Okay. No, that was, wasn't what that... So they just spawned in. Okay. Let's get off my bones. Thor. Thor, god of thunder. Give me some other, like, weird, obscure games. I want to see what has achievements on air. Uh, Biometal? The SNES? I, I mentioned that game before, right? You know, yeah. you know why I, I know about that game? Because I owned it, like, uh, back in the day. Uh, I mentioned it to Nick. He's planning a, uh, like, a grab bag stream okay, of old games people recommend. Don't mention, don't mention the following to him. Because, uh, so, there's two versions of Biometal. And uh, yeah. the, so there's a Japanese version and the American version, and they've got like a key difference. Uh, What's the, the difference? The Japanese one has like a plot, and it's got like a really nice, like a pretty original soundtrack. Um, and uh, yeah, and then the American version, they they got rid of like the plot intro, and uh, the soundtrack is all just two unlimited songs. Unlimited songs? Two unlimited? You never heard of two unlimited? Is that a band? Uh, it's an electronic group from the nineties. Um, oh. Yeah, I was. I'm not familiar. It, it, it's that uh, it, they they did that song. Y'all ready for this? Da 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 da. da. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's and that's the that's the uh, main menu and the level two. Of I the remember game. that. I booted it up to test it. Now wait, this is the music they're playing. <laughs> so that was not in the Japanese version. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I was listening. Like I couldn't believe they did that. Apparently, I got a secret at some point. That's cool reach the final boss without losing a ship. Okay. 
What's the, what's the, do they title these achievements? Uh, Metallic Shrimp Roll is the title of that one. Okay, at least they're at least they're doing like a they have a sense of humor about it. All right. Das Boot. Beat the game without using homing missiles. Okay. All right. So this level is the is called the Coliseum. Yes, that Coliseum, okay. the Roman Coliseum. You fight more lions. Are there alligators in here? Yeah, there is. Fuck. No, please. Oh yeah, the lions. Like, are there were there lions in Greece? Wait, in the Colosseum? Well, the Roman Colosseum. Yeah. Uh, and for that matter, Neptune. Is Neptune, Neptune is Neptune's Roman. Nep no, Neptune. I think Neptune is Greece, and uh, Poseidon. No, it's Poseidon Greece. No, Poseidon was Greece. Neptune was Roman. God, he's. Yeah, Neptune is Roman. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm flying. I I'm gonna let you let you know now. I'm gonna be flying somewhat blind here. Uh, so, so this might be the last one, uh, depending on how long this goes. Oh, fucking lions! So you beat you beat this game as a child. Yes. It's not for a long time. Not for a long time. So uh some of the stuff is going to come back to me. Some of the stuff I'm going to be like, "Wait, what?" Probably going to So be yeah, none none of those uh none of those four doors were were Greek gods. None of them? Wait. No. Oh yeah, no no. Neptune was Roman. To be uh, fair, I did they weren't officially called god doors. I just called them that because because I thought it'd be funny. What's the title of this level? Uh, this level's called Coliseum. Or the, the sorry, the previous one. Something's Saint, Folly. St. Francis's Folly. It's a, it's a hilarious name for a level, I think. Lara Croft Wiki. Ancient Greek structure. Okay. And it is in, in is it, it is in Greece. So it's definitely weird that it's full of Roman gods. Roman and, and... Roman one Greek Titan and one Greek dude. One Greek Titan, one Greek dude, a Roman god, and a and a fucking Nordic god. In Tomb Raider Reloaded, Saint Francis's Folly makes an appearance and is separated into fifty stages. Whatever mobile game stages are comprised of. Saint Francis's Folly. Who is Saint Francis? Was there a Saint Francis? Tell, tell me about that asshole. Saint Francis. Francis of Assisi. Yeah, tell me about him. Okay, I need to climb outside. All right. Was an Italian mystic and Catholic friar. Oh, he's who a founded the Franciscans. Okay. So, what was his folly? Did does he have any like? Uh, does he have any like uh, like scandals or like controversies? He looks like the stereotypical friar, like the dude who hung out with Robin Hood. Okay. So he built a, an underground... He built something he, on top of a coliseum to, I guess, keep the coliseum sealed? This he's is... associated with patronage of animals and the environment. <laughs> Unlike Laura. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're not only desecrating a tomb, we're desecrating a tomb that's like... That's like the direct like opposite of uh of like what we're what we're doing along with Catherine of Siena he was designated patron saint of patron saint of Italy it, okay so an italian built a uh a why is it fucking named saint francis's folly is there is a is there a, another way like another thing for a folly to be a folly? Is there another define for that? folly? Yeah, I'm thinking about it like the other way to define folly. Def I'm dead. Definition okay. two: a costly ornamental building with no practical purpose. <laughs> yep. I, I, yeah. I uh, would you say that that uh, that building had had a practical purpose? It, it seemed very impractical. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. So he built a fucking folly. St. Francis built a folly, used no Greek gods. Was he just doing that to spite the Greek and the Grecians? 
Just like, ah, fuck you. Fuck you, Greece. Also, the, the Greek structure is named after an Italian dude. Yeah, because he, he set up land, he built it as like to spite them, and he named it after himself, and and presumably was just doing rude Italian gestures all the way back to his <laughs> fucking... Like, like the New York pizza hands. That's what he was doing to the Greek guys. <laughs> In a way, it's good that we that we were here de that we were here desecrating that tomb. He, he, he was was he the one who constructed the fucking Thor like electric like shock like room? Yeah, Is that his them. idea? The fuck! I built this place as a haven as a haven for the lions. The fucking crocodile. So they wouldn't have to go to the Greek Colosseums. Well, they're here anyway. He built it over a Colosseum, by the way. I just I just want to reiterate that fact. Wait, so there is a Greek Colosseum here. This, this is the call. The level's called Colosseum. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. I a, lot would be a lot of these problems would be resolved if this took place in Rome. <laughs> well, this is probably not the Greek Colosseum. There's probably a Colosseum here. Have but also... we're in Greece, aren't we? Yeah. There could be more than one call. Oh, okay. I I I, realize, I remember now how to how to beat this room or get through this room. I just saw it. Is there any more coliseums in like in like the world besides the one? I thought it was just like a word for like fighting area. List of Colos list of Roman amphitheaters. Okay. Did it see him? It it seems like it's strictly an Italian thing. It every, every result is about Roman Italy. Agree. <laughs> it's That's... probably a specific type of arena, the Colosseum structure. Yeah, probably right. <laughs> All right, we unlocked a shortcut back. Don't know why we need it. Yo, there's Captain Skyhawk achievements. Yes. All right, welcome to the Coliseum. Let's. Uh... It's square. Yeah, this is. This is My, not... Minecraft looking ass. Yeah. Anyway, let's shoot. I let's guess shoot. it would look too weird if they attempted oh, to make it round. Oh, fucking Pierre! If they attempted to make it round, it would definitely look like Minecraft. Come at me, come at me, bro! These dudes don't seem very smart. These dudes, it's just the one guy! Well, it was, pre it was Larson, previously. Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not, they're not smart. Alright, where is that? Apparently the revamp, the like the the engine remake of this game added like health bars, which I think would be kind of like uh, like useful. Yeah. But um, you know, maybe this game would have benefited had it been like originally designed for PC rather than being ported to DOS. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff you can do in like Doom or Quake that just doesn't exist in this game. It's weird because. When did Quake come out? I thought I... Quake game. It was before Doom, wasn't it? No, it was... Quake... No, Quake... Doom was af was before Quake. Okay. Doom was the first... The single-player game, and Quake was, like, multiplayer? Uh, Doom... Quake had a single-player mode, um, but it was popular in multiplayer. Um, 1996 was Quake. So the reason why I mentioned that is because uh, Doom was, like, using, like, a... Like a like its own engine, and then they they made a completely new like true 3D engine for Quake, and it was revolutionary at the time. It was called ID Tech, and uh, and it was that and Unreal that like they did the first like true 3D engines, and that's why like uh, you, th that's kind of the reason why Unreal Tech and uh, Unreal Engine and, and ID Tech are were like big, although most people use Unreal Tech Engine these days for like for like 3D systems, probably because it just doesn't really license it out or something. Did they then make a Doom game with the Quake engine? Uh, no. 
Oh, well, they use... Oh, yeah, actually, kind of. Uh, one of the id techs was used for Doom 3. I think it was id tech 3 was Doom 3. Id tech 2 was Quake 2. It was just, like, steady improvements. Oh, I, f I found out recently, apparently John Romero, like, does stuff on Twitch. Yeah. He, uh, streamed myhouse.wad. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Like, that... Like, John Romero's a pretty cool dude these days, from what I heard. He just... He likes... He answers fan mail. He's, like, pretty chill with people. He had, like, a one-on-one -on -one match in Doom with, like, a, a Doom community member. I don't... Was it Civvy? Was it Civvy 11? No. Ah, oh, damn. No, Darian posted it in the Discord. Yeah, John, uh, John, John Romero's pretty cool. Um, I, I That being said, Destino. I don't... What's up? Decino versus John Romero. Oh, I've, I've heard of that guy. That guy makes content for Doom. Like, he makes, like, analysis of, like, certain things about Doom. Like, interesting engine stuff. Uh, Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go inside the, the Coliseum floor for the next part of the level. Spoiler, Romero won. Of course he fucking won. He built the engine. Uh... Well, this part, this part, uh, got, like, fucked up. I wonder how good the worms devs are at worms. Uh, shit, I don't know. Oh, shit, I think I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm good. Dave, now. I don't remember if I mentioned this, uh, some of the Achievement Hunter guys were, they became voices in an official worms game. Did they? I don't oh, remember cool. which one it was, but yeah, there's there's an official like Gavin worm voice in one of the games. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Did they do they high pitch him or did they just keep him as is? I don't remember. I think some of them are also in uh, in one of the trials games. Okay, this tile set this looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Point that out. Okay. No way out. More lions! No, this is a sanctuary for them. The Coliseum? Oh, I got got. Shit. Alright. Let's try that again. I like the instant loading times. I think I think Tomb Raider 3 has loading times, but then again, it's loading a lot more shit, so... On, uh, PC? Yeah. I imagine it would probably have longer loading times if it had the music that the PS1 version had. Yeah. Maybe. Oh shit. Am I still alive? Okay. Okay, I made it. Whew. It's like Dark Souls with guns. Just dodge jump. I... You don't jump in Dark Souls, you jump in Elden Ring. No, you dodge roll. Oh yeah. It's an aerial dodge roll is the jump. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna save my. I'm you. I'm eating up health packs like crazy. I'm, I'm not playing well at all. Or was this unlocked? Over there. So Col all right. Coliseum is level six. Yes. Level six is Coliseum. And uh... wait, is there another switch? Okay, there's two switches. Okay, and that takes out that one. All right. I'm glad. I, I'm kind of glad I don't remember how this level goes because it, it's just like. Is he filling me with, like, a kind of a childlike glee? What the fuck? Another? <laughs> they, they can't leap down here. <laughs> They're scared of heights. Alright. The combat in this game looks very samey. Yeah. You kind of deal with everything the same basic way. Yes. Combat in this game... Why did your bullets suddenly speed up? What happened? Um, I was I I, some there's a quirk with the with how she shoots where if you are off kilter she only fight with like one like gun and if you turn she just then starts like uh, shooting shooting like alternatively as opposed to simultaneously. What's down here? It's, it's like ice climbers. You get oh, to desync them. Pit. Okay. Yeah, ice climbers guns. As far as I know, her guns don't have a name, nor do they have a model. They're just pistols, which which uh, further sells to me the fact that they're, like, a nin-based item. What do you think, uh, what's the condition she had to put on herself 
to get this powerful Nen ability. Um, so you can't use them to in the pursuit of money. Like like only physical for sport. wealth. Yeah, she's like when she says sorry, I I only play for sport. She means it. Uh, she means that if she violates it, she's gonna get into some like horrible shit. What does that make her an emitter type? What the fuck? Oh. That means she's an emitter? Okay. Uh well that was that was weird. Uh Alright. I think conjuration, conjurer is the one. Oh conjurer. creates objects from air from aura or whatever. Alright, then then her uh, pistols are she's a conjurer type and a tomb she's a, not a tomb raider she's a tomb hunter okay i think and then bob's your uncle all right cool that's that puzzle done wait what did that what I do? Oh my god. Okay, this 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 is uh this is rougher than I thought it would be. This is a unique stream because I'm absolutely no fucking help here. You are on your own. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I'm 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 fine with this. Are there, there achievements for have... rascal? Oh, I hope not. Fuck not that rascal? I'll get them anyway. It was a probably the worst game I owned as a child. It oh, was on yeah? the PS1. It was about some little shit child with a with a ray gun. It played awfully and I attempted to stream it and I only lasted like 30 minutes. Only 30. Oh what? Granted it was compounded by emulation issues. I'm Oh, <laughs> this this level is is fucking with my head. I'm sorry. Just give me give me a second. So I hit that, and that opens that, and and that, and I run down here, and keep it open. Wait, no. If that opens that, then I don't need to. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Hit that. That'll open both of them. Go here. Hit the switch. Run. 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 No! Yes, I made it! <laughs> that was so jank. <laughs> I was gonna say, so it's not just like an instant death if she gets crushed by the door squarely. No, this is isn't it? a this isn't a build engine game. This this it just only certain things can kill you. It's not like a con it's engine conditional thing. All right, so we're down here. So okay. What is the worst game that you think we've streamed? Um, gut reaction probably Lagoon. Yeah. Goon suck shit. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. It's fine. Just take a little bit of that passive damage. No, there's no. It's only if you run. I was walking. Ah. Yeah, that's why I was showing that off. Like I'm a let's player. I'm gonna say Rascal is the worst, and uh, Crash Tag Team Racing was also really, really bad. Are I we... did both of those solo. Oh yeah. Well, I, I then then if the worst game. That we've streamed together would be definitely Lagoon. Then that was that was awful. All right, climb up. What are the one-off streams we've done? Hold on, I gotta check something. I gotta check my uh, my. I'm gonna. Be right back. I'm gonna check my uh It's just gonna jump forever. Cool. Uh let's see. I wanna I wanna just see that my hard drive space is oh it's 
It's at 67.7 gigabytes free right now. Yeah. No, I knew it wasn't going to fill 100. Okay. What? No! Laura! Chill out! <laughs> hop, hop, hop! Uh, don't tell me I gotta do all that shit again. Damn it, Laura. Alright. Fine. I know how to do it. Actually, no, I don't have to do it because I, uh, because I opened that door. I'm not gonna count that plug-and-play we did because that's too easy. Yeah. I barely consider them games. I'm not gonna lie, Messiah didn't look great. Uh, it wasn't. I, I played it for the meme value, honestly. Hold on, I don't need to... Am I still rec am I still recording? Okay, it's still recording. Good. I just I just wanted to be doubly sure. Yeah, no, it's still also streaming. Hello, okay. Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Sa oh, Sandy was an OG. Sandy had this for Saturn. You had this game for Sa Saturn? Tell me how it played. <laughs> We, we've heard stories of the Saturn Tomb Raider. It was the first one released, and it was supposedly, like, the most primitive version of this game. Alright, back up here. Fortunately oh, you do have the on-screen, the chat. I do, I just, uh... Wait, was it playing for you? What? No, I, I have it, I just I just can't see it because it's full screen. No, I know, I know you can't see it. I was... I was... My question earlier was whether you had it on the stream because I wasn't sure if you did or not. Oh, shit! I, I should have been but, more specific. No, I have it. I have it uh, on the screen. I set that up. I just, uh, I just can't see it. Plays fine, not as crisp as it, as it is on PS One. Uh, we heard there were fewer save points in the Saturn version. Right. There's also some like uh, some difficulty differences. What is that? Is that shotgun. fish? A shotgun. Oh, shotgun. You know, when we eventually fight something that's worth it. There's got to be a reason why I'm uh, why why it sent me up here. Oh, nope, I don't want to do that. I like the idea that you could pepper uh, Pierre with like three shotgun rounds and he'd just walk away. Yeah, he teleport away because he's got that nin that nin ability. So we're playing this on, uh, this is the Steam version. Yeah. Which is based on the DOS version of the game. Yeah. But with some stuff re-added from other versions. Yeah. Hmm. You want me to go over there? Wait, so is this, is this or is this not the Steam version? This is the Steam version. It's just that the Steam version, apparently, they natively optimize it so that it runs DOSBox. Okay. So it's this... an interesting way to do it. Yeah, probably. There's it, probably not the best way to uh, to play it. Well, okay, that's that's nothing. But you know, is yeah. there a controller compatibility, or does it have to be keyboard? There, it has joystick compatibility. But um, I play it with keyboard because I played it with a keyboard back then. So I think you can play it with a with a controller. All right. So there's Doom on Steam here. also runs in DOSBox, according to Sandy. The what? Doom on oh. Steam. That's weird because uh, because Z Doom, G Z Doom exists. I guess if you're wanting to play it like without like any of the, uh... that, but then Chocolate Doom exists. Chocolate Doom. That's another uh, port. Like all these like there's all these source ports. I get it as opposed to Vanilla Doom. <laughs> I heard that there are people I... who just in the Ocarina of Time like randomizer who describe non-vanilla features as chocolate. That makes sense. Uh, seriously, why am I up here? Is there like a? Was it just the shotgun? No, it can't be Was just that for it? the. Is that it? Can't be just for the ammo because. My is it? Is it just another way to get? Oh, it's just another way to get back up here. But did I? Did I uh, pull a switch that uh, that like opened another section of of the level up here? Is that is that why I'm uh, not allowed to like go back up here? Well, let's so find which out. Uh, which Tomb Raider games have you played, Sandy? Okay. What is your experience with this series? <sighs> it's quicker than running. That's the way out. 
Okay, there's a there's a there's a uh, another there's an opening over there. Good. Okay. No? Oh shit, no. I can't wait for the uh the Tomb Raider Netflix anime that's just like needlessly full of sex. <laughs> That was the thing about uh, about Laura. She's 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 kind of a from a fourth wall perspective. She's kind of a tease. Yeah. She doesn't. You don't ever get. To I see think you've seen about enough. You you know about that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is that in this game? No, it's in it's in the second one. She gets progressively meaner as the as the games go on. Cause here she's like kind of cheeky, but then in like three she's just like she's just like killing guards and shit. It's Kind of disconcerting. My dad was a huge Laura Croft simp. I played all of them up to Angel of Darkness. Yeah, you, you stopped at the right place. Okay. Why did everything every, everything PS1 just started sucking on the PS2? What happened? Uh, different engine, them trying new stuff. Uh, probably did they new... changed developers. Probably. Uh, knowing Core, I want to say this. Uh, two and three were done by different teams in Core. One, two, and three. We're not even done by the same people in court, which is why it kind of feels like it's so inconsistent in certain ways. That kind of seems like it happened a lot with PlayStation franchises in general. Like, they wanted to keep these franchises going, but the devs didn't want to keep working on them. Burnout's a real thing, man. Like, like I'm... You tell me about that kind of thing, I, I tell you, I'm just... I'm not surprised. If I remember correctly, Twisted Metal 3 and 4 had different devs, and then the PS2 games had another different team of devs. Oh, yeah? Shit. Crash and Spyro both uh, were sold by their developers after the PS1 games. Hmm. And, the, and the developers went on to do, like, different series in the PS2 era. They just, someone else was doing Crash and Spyro. Yeah, I'm retracing my steps. I'm kind of uh, stuck here. Sandy, Sandy you remember this level? You know where Jack needs to go. I don't want to have. Oh, to... and Tomb Raider Legend. Oh yeah, Tomb Raider Legend. That yeah, to... that was Crystal Dynamic, and I think the same team did all three of those games. Maybe. Alright, so it leads me up here. Fascinating. So uh, you've gotten this far and you don't know where to go from up here. I've, I figured it out through intuition and now I'm up here and those and there's three more doors. I'm sure there's a switch up here or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna cl I'm gonna clamber around here. Maybe there's like an opening I missed. Oh, um, down from there to get up here. Over here, I don't want to go because that'll just... Is this the area where you fight the T-Rex? <laughs> oh, you, you, you passed that. We passed that uh, all the way back in... That was like level 2, wasn't it? That was level 3. Level 3, you fight a T-Rex. Here, we're just kind of like like futzing around and Okay, no, I see where we need to go now. I... This... Damn. I feel like kind of a fool. It's just that... I was literally over there. I was in the right place, and then I... Then I fucked it up. Okay. So... Back. Jump. Grab! All right. Progress. What the? What? What is this? Yeah, you see how she's like, she was doing that. Look at these, uh, Shay, like, lounge chairs. Oh my god. Fucking monkey. These gorillas. It's a fainting couch. Is that really what they're supposed to be? Okay. I don't know. What? I don't have a key! I missed a key! That's probably further in. Probably over this way. Pull it out. 
It's a good thing she can move these blocks, otherwise her adventure would be over. She's strong, and as well as being, like, limber. How heavy are the dumbbells that you lift? Okay. Oh, hey, cool, free medkit. I don't know how old Never she mind is. the wild animals living here. It's really convenient that there's these, there's these medical equipment all over the ground. <laughs> the monkeys probably retrieve it and, and bring it in. Like, same with the wolves. They just manufacture their own, like, uh, opium and shit. So now you're looking for a key? No, I, I, yeah, I'm looking for a key now. So it'll be in one of the corners of the Coliseum. I like how there's, like, uh, the ambience is sounds of crowds, even though there's clearly no crowds. It's the memories of crowds. The ambience in the previous level was, like, a, was like a gong. Was a wolf striking a gong? Probably not. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. All right. All right, fair enough. I'll have to drop Ow. down. I... Okay. Here we go. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was actually like a like a bottomless pit, despite me saying there are no bottomless pits in this game. All right. Okay. Bonk. Okay. No running jump then. Might not actually stream game if I'm I maybe not though. This is taking this is this is like a like a big hill to climb. We're hitting three hours for six levels. And this will probably open up another corner of the Coliseum. Yep, that one. Alright. I can tell how limited the uh, aerial mobility is in this game because you have to spend so long lining yourself up perfectly before every jump. Yeah. Three, three's levels, it, it can be kind of like, like marathon-ish. Like, uh, I'm trying to think. The first level. Oh, get frozen! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> He's teaming up with a fucking lion. All right, I'm gonna have to eat, burn a med kit. No one expects Pierre. <laughs> Come on, Pierre. Oh, he's got. I, I joke, but he was the he was the like guy narrating. We heard, right? Yes, at the very end, I beat myself rid of these fantasies. My toes sweat. What did you say? My toes sweat in anticipation. Some something like that. This guy could be a miraculous villain. Yeah. <laughs> he just Pierre Dupont. Hey, it's uh, Saucy was complaining about the. Uh... Did you watch the Sonic Prime Netflix yeah. show, mm -hmm. the most recent one? And uh, she complains about Sonic's characterization because he just does stupid shit. And it's the oh, same yeah. stupid shit episode after episode. Oh. And then, like, five five episodes later, he learns from the, sh from the shit. And then he Which does... I said, well, that sounds like batch writing. That sounds like five writers writing at the same time. And then they can only change it after they're all done. Because I recognize that. That's the shit that they did in Miraculous for the longest time. <laughs> Nothing's allowed to change except for, like, after several episodes. That sounds like it, yeah. They've been in a lot of shows. Gotta climb up there now. This is the first time in this... Ah, fuck. That, that sucked. This is the first time uh, in this uh, <sighs> game that, that I'm just... I feel like I'm just doing busy work. Yeah. As opposed to actually just exploring. I saw those... You just going around these little pocket dungeons around the corners of yeah, the Coliseum? And, yeah, and it's just... <laughs> okay, I know why they're there. It's Pierre just... shows up and shoots you now and again? Yeah, it's just... Hey, it's Pierre. Oh, just keeping you on your toes. That's why these are here. They're here to refresh Pierre. 
Is he is he gone? Okay. Can't let you get too relaxed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. You know, the French-British man here at the uh, Greek-Roman Colosseum. Where the Italian dude has a tribute to uh, Roman gods. Also Thor. Thor. <laughs> Alright, what's the point of this then? This game has an expansion pack, by the way. Oh yeah? Unfinished business. Um, they actually got to, they actually got a skyboxes like figured out <laughs> in that game. So it's like a, a new campaign with new levels. Yeah, uh, some of them seem familiar. Like they, they, some of them are remixed, but then there's others that are just like. Leon Chameleon becomes a skinny. A skinny? What the fuck is that's that's new terminology, Sandy? Can you elaborate? I, I assume it's Sandy. I yeah. Okay. Oh, there's that key. All right, cool. Furry becomes human. Oh, is is that like a, a furry derogatory for humans? Skinny. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, you see what I just tried to do there? I just fucking T-posed in there because I tried to dive when it was too small. Yeah. That's the most graceful form of dive. Zora Link taught us that. Indeed. There's a uh, there's a race of furries in One Piece called minks. Oh yeah. And their their term for humans are lesser minks because they they have less fur. Oh okay. That sounds that that could sound a bit racist, though. Lesser. All right. Uh, so I have the key. All right. I just need to go back to uh, where I was before. Hopefully, I can access it um, through up here. Then why was I opening up that one? Man, I don't know. Apparently, it's faster if you just jump, according to. Uh, speedrunner tech so we're underground right now yes i think i don't know this uh this uh coliseum is is got the same black skybox up there so like the underground city in full metal alchemist oh God, more monkeys when do we oh, fight just... king louis is he the boss follow king louis to his treasure and then they oh. shoot at him Despite uh, the fact that Mowgli was like saying, "Hey, yeah, you should you should go here to get the treasure," and then die by the snake or whatever kind of horrible stuff that happens. My leg! God damn! The sand coming down on him, and and he's just like, oh, he's just entombed. He's trapped there until he starves to death. That's that's that was fucking horrifying. And then the quicksand death. It was just, just. It was brutal. I wish Disney continued down that route. Yeah. What are some other movies that could be made like that kind of gruesome? Obviously, like Hunchback, if they really put their all into it. But There was a black and white movie of Hunchback where it actually showed Quasimodo just dropping <laughs> boiling oil on like, uh, on like fucking, uh, like, like soldiers or something. Yeah. And that, I just looked at that, I'm like, oh shit. That's not how it goes in the Disney version, I don't think. No, he has the gargoyles for plausible deniability. Yeah, the, the gargoyles tell him to tell me to do things. Oh no, we're going we're going back to that uh, to that uh, like uh, weird orgy area. These areas don't have any like names except for the level names, so I just kind of have to guess as to like what. Uh, and boom. You just do, do the same thing that Jungle Book 94 did with uh, Tarzan. Just Clayton comes with a full team of dudes and they just get mauled by gorillas in increasingly <laughs> creative ways. Oh yeah, you just, just turn it into a slasher movie, but for, but for fucking... It's just a slasher movie, but, but with gorillas. 
uh, Hunchback of or uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, there's a fight scene where Beast just goes all John Wick with swords on like the people attacking him, the villagers, like Clayton's uh, or Gaston's men. Yeah. I don't know where this is going? I'm gonna save. Oh, this feels like a maze. Oh, oh, another alligator. Why am I not surprised? Sword in the Stone I don't remember much of other than that I found it scary as a child. Sword in the Stone? Yeah. What, was it the squirrel part? Mostly the squirrel part. Yeah. What did that do? Whatever. Let's go back to the Black Cauldron now that we have real CG. Oh yeah, that that would be that would be a great Lord of the Rings style like uh, like movie. I found out that uh, the old animated Hobbit movie was by the group that eventually became Studio Ghibli. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, we did we did we, did, we were done call CM. You never watched uh, Dark Cauldron, did you? No, I wanted to, but I wasn't allowed because it looked kind of fucked up. Hey. You mentioned this all the way back in the in like uh, in like one of the levels. You know what level we're on now? Are we in the dolphin room? No, no, like the at levels. You, you know where we are? You, you mentioned like the the one death scene that I told you about. Where are we? We are in Phallus Midas. Okay. Now was King Midas's story? Was that Greek? In? Was that Greece? Uh. Or was that another Roman thing? King Midas. Yeah, look that up. A king in Phrygia. Phrygia? Phrygia? Remembered in Greek mythology. Okay. They, one out of three so far, Cor. You got you got one right. Oh, monkey. Where Which I was not aware of the Tomb Raider Midas stuff until you told me about it. My my best recollection of such a scene was the uh, Aladdin 3. Oh yeah, that that was also hardcore. Prince of Aladdin and the Prince of Thieves was better than it had any right to be. Everyone he, skipped the second one, but watched the third one. Yeah, it was like what Jafar comes back. Ooh, let's hear about Aladdin's dad, who was apparently like like a really like a really good thief or something. Let's have a gritty live-action Emperor's New Groove adaptation that deals with the existential terror of actually becoming a llama. Oh, God. Dead serious. No I think, jokes. I think I am fighting, like, uh, King Louis' like, uh, minions. Yeah. Also, are there gorillas in Greece? Probably. Not. Greece got around. The Greece and Roman empires, they like imported shit from everywhere. And then, so they imported a bunch of gorillas here. The Greece are Roman, like whatever. And then, okay. Oh, that was they, nice. They were you fairly you active in. in Africa. I'm going to save again. All right. So they just imported a bunch of African stuff. And then they, they also formed an ecosystem down here. The lions and the, and the gorillas. The Lion Clan and the Gorilla Clan formed the coal. What? I'm... Can you leave me alone, monkey? Thank you. All right, I was supposed to go here. Good. Uh. No, no tigers though. So they did. So after Home on the Range, Disney, Disney did three 3D movies with only mixed success. What were those 3D then movies? Chicken Little. Okay, I haven't meet, seen that one. Meet the Robinsons. I haven't seen that one. And Bolt. Oh, yeah. I, all three of those, I think everybody was like going, you're doing 3D, really? And then nobody really... What was the first really successful one? I'm sure they were fine, but they probably didn't hold up to like the Pixar legends. Oh yeah. Them. Oh yeah, because Pixar were the ones that are just like, hey. So then they went back and did one more 2D with Princess and the Frog. Yeah, it was. Just... And then was Tangled, and Tangled was successful. I have never seen Tangled actually. That's just Rapunzel, but like, did that guy clip under. Sassy. Oh yeah. No. 
I'm I'm feel I actually feel kind of bad just killing all these like gorillas. This is, I mean, this is their house. You're barging in. Uh, well, I mean, it's for the greater good, I think. Greater good being my pocket. I'm not my pocket for sport. I, I just want it now. I don't want. To, I don't, I don't want... even have a good reason to be doing this. <laughs> I'm here for fun. <laughs> Girl next door. Laura Croft shoots animals for fun. She killed Bigfoot, I think. Like, she's just like, oh, Bigfoot sounds exciting. Hey, we'll you take... say she gets meaner. <laughs> she, she's, well, I mean, I, she starts dropping Bond one-liners and shit when, like, killing people. What was that really <laughs> shitty Bond one-liner you told me about recently? Uh, uh, After I, he kills I, a dude? Oh, uh, context. Was it the shocking mission pitch? Oh yeah, when uh, when like he's like macking with on a woman, and then and then he sees a guy coming out from like behind, and he uses her as a shield to like block the incoming attack, and he knocks her out. So, <laughs> so then so then he, they they guys have a tangle. He throws him in a tub, and he throws like an electric lamp in there, shocking him. And he turns to the woman as she's recovering from that, and he goes to her like goes shocking, absolutely shocking. James Bond is kind of an asshole. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he always was. It's just like he was cool because like he was allowed to kill people and stuff. Uh, bonk! Oh, there's something up there. Is that a health pack? Oh yeah, I need I need those. If I see a health pack, I need to grab it. If I if it's like if I can, the ammo I can take or leave because that just means I kill things faster. The health pack is uh, they're vital, and I. We've got some uh, lovely photorealistic JPEG foliage in this room. Oh, you, you want to talk about the squash picture? What was that? It was a miraculous. Yes, yeah. miraculous ladybug. Just, in the in the school cafeteria, there was just a giant framed like eight foot by ten foot pit stock ass picture of squash. Yes. <laughs> hey, so this is this is the this room will be important later. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the hand? That's the hand. Looks like a Mickey Mouse glove. Are you you are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Fucking brutal, man. Just you hear that like <sighs> They really want to make sure you see the name Midas as you enter the room. Yeah, it's like it's own your own fault if you don't like heed the warning of Midas. Don't you know your Greek mythology? Clearly, these game devs do. This is the only level they got right, and then they proceeded to like do Saint. I have a feeling they did this one first, and then they're like, "Well, shit. Do you know any other Greek things? I don't know. Let's just toss a few in." Remember they? Okay, maybe they were like trying to like get like actual Greek things in. And they couldn't, and then there's like, how about lightning? Well, there's no... No, but the Zeus... But the hammer... I don't know. I give up. I... Alright, there's probably another... They probably just thought, it's a video game, no one's going to care. Because that was kind of the thought process in this era. <laughs> yeah. It seems like I can get up there. Sorry, I'm just wandering. I'm just trying to remember... Uh, what, where I'm going now. The actual music tracks are so much louder than the ambience is. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that, because I like the ambience in this game. Um, I feel like, I feel like it adds to it, and just having either, like, really loud music or nothing, and then the ambience just being kind of there. It's like Sonic Adventure, not, not, it's not quite Sonic Adventure, but the mixing in this game is not perfect. I did turn it down like quite a bit. No, I know music you did. And stuff, but uh, the ambience of the music uses the same volume slider, so it's strange that the music is so higher. Yeah, I missed something. I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Be sure that I didn't like fuck up. It's over here. Why is gold so valuable if that man existed? He it was a curse. He like he made a deal to like not ha not be like cursed with that anymore. Probably didn't exist for very long. They couldn't eat, right? Yeah, he, every time he like tried to eat like an apple or like anything, and then the final straw was when he accidentally turned his daughter into gold. And he's like, "I gotta end this curse." 
Or he killed himself. I don't remember. I guess you could say she was a golden girl. <laughs> That's something James Bond would say. He, he actually saw a woman like killed and covered in gold paint. He didn't have a quip because he didn't do it. Well, he did her, but he didn't do the, the crime. Uh, okay, I guess I... I guess I missed something else somewhere else. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to just uh It'll come to me. <laughs> that monkey came out of the ground. I, I saw that. It rose. Yeah. How many monkeys are, are here? I Okay. Uh So we came from here. There's there oh that water is astonishingly clean, considering how long it's been here. They got the the they got the Roman filtration system. Is there a crocodile eats you death animation? No, like like at the animals, there's uh, only two like uh, like uh, monster specific. Uh, I'm not calling them animals; they're monsters. They act like monsters. There's only two like uh, like. Monster specific uh, death animations. One was the T Rex, and the other was uh, is to be is to come. There might be a third one. I don't. I don't remember. Maybe there's another T Rex. Okay. Okay, we're we are in the place where we ought to be now. I can't don't... wait till we get to the prequel where the final boss is Bigfoot. <laughs> More monkeys. Is that why they're like so angry? They're just coming for revenge for Bigfoot. Do you think there were Bigfoot hunters in this universe? And are they sad that he's now caught? It's probably just a species. Maybe maybe they were like really strong and they needed like a like a, a person. Maybe the big Bigfoot had no. like nin abilities. No, because it wouldn't be like a headline unless he was a legendary creature. Oh fuck, I remember this room. Okay. That uh, sounds reassuring. Are we gonna be here a while? At, no, no, it, it's only slightly longer, because um Is that? I might as well do this one first. Uh, why? Omega, 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 Omega. Remember that. Okay. Should be one that's like lower. Uh... Also, Sandy, it's it's Lara, L A R A, not Lara. Laura. Lara. Lara. Oh, hey, it's uh, it's not, it's Natalia. Not or Natla? That fucking Is this uh Lara Craft woman? <laughs> she sounds like a would you consider her like uh Natla's accent Midwestern or Texas? Natalia? What? Yeah, the one oh you didn't see her. Shit. She had a very about? Okay, so uh when in the cutscene that you missed because the connection dropped, um you can look it up uh, online. It's the funny. lady on the computer. Yeah. She was like she she had this very thick like uh, like accent. Okay, it's over I here. I caught a little bit, but I didn't remember. I don't remember Seal how she sounded. Seal it, Larson. Can it, Larson? Tomb Raider intro cutscene. Yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta watch that shit. I'm I was sad that you no, got... not 2013. <laughs> I have to come here every single time I want to, like, open another door. I fucking missed the... Mm. <clears throat> Damn it. All right, it sounds like a very mild southern. Very mild. Yeah. So so she's so she's in, she lives in Texas. So the Laura, as opposed to Lawson who was not the least bit mild. A bunch of Texan dudes. 
Now that y'all found Bigfoot, we gotta hunt other stuff. How about ink and gold? Ink and gold. We're gonna we're gonna hunt like a like a staff. We're, do you think Excalibur exists in this universe? Probably. Sure. It, I get the impression that like everything mythical and legendary exists in this universe. And and for some reason, either nobody wants to like I don't know why I didn't grab that. Either nobody wants to grab it or uh or like it's just too dangerous and Laura's the only person that can like that can like reasonably hunt it. This is a universe with like good welfare, social safety net. No one really wants to like take big risks or leave the house. It's just pleasant. Like, who cares? Let Laura let Laura go hunt them. Also, the also the animals are dangerous. The wild yeah, that too. There's outdoorsing. People who go out, out like outdoorsing, they're like made of sterner stuff. They gotta like fend off. That was an accident. Oh, this is. They gotta fend off. You like... Can't go to the beach because seagulls are serious shit. <laughs> 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 no animal in this world is afraid of humans. Hey, man, you gotta come to work. I can't. The ravens are out. It's like how in India, if there's like a cow in the road, all of the traffic just completely stops. It's like that, but for a completely different reason. Yeah, because you don't want to piss it off. If the cow, if you piss off the cow, it'll it'll gore you. It'll. But you know what? Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there are species of dogs that are uh, that are just fine. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's pets in this world. It's like the difference between a uh, a domesticated animal and a non-domesticated animal is huge compared to our world. Kitties are like are like actually tameable, and you can like feed it treats and stuff. Whereas, whereas a tiger will just kill you, no exceptions. You know we've made progress when music plays. Yes. I'm gonna save here because I don't want to do that shit again immediately. The fuck's down here? <laughs> Thank you, game. I appreciate that. that shortcut. Yeah. Save again. Why'd you make me do the jumping puzzle before me? <laughs> you know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be angry. Oh look, Elsa, it's really good in this game. All right, so maybe it's this one that'll open that door up. Is it? Nope. It'll be uh, the rest of them. Or maybe it is, no. and it just didn't do the camera? Okay. Can you see from here? Yeah, I saw from there. The door was closed. I think they they don't they want you to not like uh, guess. That's why they're not they're not triggering the uh, the camera pan, like they do for some of the switches. Means hit this. And yeah, it's open. All right. Okay. I fall damage. A little bit. I should have. I should have played it safe. I'm. I just want to get. I. I just want to like. Speaking of other loud sound effects. All right. Now, it's a small flame, so logic dictates you can just kind of, like, go off to the side. Oh. I'm gonna guess that won't work, given the tone of your voice. Yeah. They want you to platform quickly in this engine? <laughs> it's It's actually less hard than you'd think. Alright, where's the exit? Up there. I saw I saw a creature. Is there a crocodile in these waters? Yeah, seems like it. 
The local wild... Speaking of dying to the local wildlife, it's probably less funny here. That was like the Mario fish. Alligator just swallows you in one gulp. Yeah. I can do this, like, without, like... It is, it is possible. I've done it before. I remember doing it before. I don't have to be, like, too quick. Ah, fuck. I will say that this game looks significantly better visually than Castlevania 64. Sorry, Darian. Nintendo, it's weird because Nintendo 64, sometimes they get that, like, it has really good graphics and sometimes it doesn't. PlayStation has, like, that distinctive style to it. It kind of depends on what they're going for. Yeah. It's weird. I wonder, I wonder what engine they used. It wasn't, like, id tech or Unreal. They probably used some kind of in-house, like, PlayStation engine. You think they coded the engine themselves? For this game? Yeah. I don't know. I'm curious about that. Okay, come on. Just one and more! I'm on fire! Okay. Oh, man. It's too quick to, like... I'm just gonna reset, because I don't want to, like, burn another, uh... See, if this were a PC game, they'd have quick saves. Okay, I fucked it. I don't feel like you can stop and re-aim. No, I can't. Or do you have to keep running? Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay. So... I can't, I, yeah, I can't, I can't stop running, so, until the very end where I have to do the, because I have to do the running jump at the very end. Oh, it yeah. almost ah. made it! <laughs> I was off, I was off, I can't do crazy one-handed grabs because of the engine. Okay. Ah, dang it. So, I think there's an issue with DOS box where, uh, where I can't hold multiple keys, so that might be a uh, might be an issue. Oh shit! Let's have to. I'll have to go slightly, just ever so slightly slower. <gasps> this is the one. Yes, this is the one. Move it, move it or lose it, Laura. All right, we got we got our Wait. first. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Don't worry, I'm not- I don't want to have to do that again. That was the one I remember being, like, really shitty. So we got a lead bar. I think it's only three. The, uh, fourth one- I'm gonna let these guys live. They- they- What are those? Are they rats? No, they're- they're, uh, they're- they're alligators. Or crocodiles. Like baby alligators? They look small. Oh, they are rats! Oh, fuck them, man. rats. I thought they- they uh, They're not hurting anyone. That's a message. Monster. Fucking rat clan. They would've killed me, too. Okay. I thought they were alligators. I didn't think they would appear until, like... I was- Pierre, back! Come on, Pierre. I know you're here. This music tracks needs an accordion. Show yourself! Okay, I guess he, I guess I guess he's not here. I guess the music just wanted to be be uh quirky. Alright, um let's see. Uh I don't know what that's that was on off on on off. On on off off on. Or no, off off? 
Is, the what y... is the first one? I thought the first one's a Y. The first one was a Y, and then the rest were... Okay, so... Y-O, Y-Y-O. Oh! Are we looking at different ones? Yeah. Okay, I see I see what you're talking about now. Sorry, uh, that monkey is... Uh... Hey, get out of here. Okay. So that one's on... The left to right, left to right. okay. All right, I got. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for that one. Uh, one of these is where we'll need to go at the very end, and uh, which means that I and I don't remember which one it is. Could be this one. I don't know. Okay, good. That drop won't uh, won't hurt us like uh, like the other one will. Okay. This looks like something a uh, place we need to go. This is level seven, right? Yeah, this is level seven. We can stop after this if you're too tired. Because this game isn't like as active as like other games, which is why I'm like I'm able to like play it longer. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, fine. As long right. as you want to go. Oh, thank you. I barely remember how to do this one. Uh, just I'm gonna look at the main room from up here. Okay, so they really want you to like jump over the spikes. Uh, not now. After, after I, uh, after I toggle something, I think. Let's check. That looks like it sucks. Oh, I wouldn't oh. want to move that. No. All right. I like how her face melts. She's got that sweet, like, uh, Metal Gear Solid one face going on. Oh, no, it's not. Is her face, like, loading and unloading at times? Uh, unknown. I, I feel like she has a long distance, like, model she uses. Um. That's, like, common for, for a lot of stuff. Uh, where It would, is. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised. And then he calls the uh, low-poly Mario Morrow <laughs> in Mario 64. There's some kind of... I don't, maybe it was a corruption or some kind of setting you can do to, like, play as permanent Morrow. Oh, wow. Uh, permanent low-poly... Well, lower-poly Mario. Yeah. I wonder, you think if I run and, and just fall, not jump, but fall, I can... Maybe? Nope. Not a thing. Darn. Good effort. Okay, let's try that again. You think Laura remembers every death? Is that the condition of her nin ability? She has to remember every time she dies. No, because then that would just be another nin ability in and of itself. Okay, that didn't work out either. I'm overthinking this. I'm just gonna fucking j jump at the edge. It doesn't even need to be a running jump. No. Yeah, because that'll that'll keep me okay. This game has low ceilings. Yeah, makes it makes some of the levels kind of claustrophobic. Okay, and probably gonna be a running. The wind. I, I actually think this wind stuff is creepier than like than like the weird uh, dongs and shit in the previous uh, section. In but why is there wind? We're indoors. The caves have wind. Maybe it's like in the cracks. All right, now. I'm gonna look up gameplay of Tomb Raider on the Game Boy Color. Monkey. Because I'm curious. I almost killed myself there. Alright, I'm gonna be up here, and then they can't get to me. Oh no, he can't get to me. He's dead, though. Probably gonna be Prince of Persia-like gameplay. Alright, that's two. I only played them, like, very recently. The, uh, two Crash Game Boy Advance games are actually very good. I wish I had them as a kid. 
I think I remember hearing the Banjo... I don't know about the Banjo-Kazooie ones. I know that they made... Well, the Banjo one was, like, isometric, top-down. Same as, I think, uh, Conker's Pocket Tales. Oh, yeah. Was that, like, uh, like kid-friendly, like uh, the other Conker games? Unlike the... That was the only other Conker game. That was, yeah, before he went to uh, adult. Yeah. So it stupid. looks... Game Boy Color Lara Croft looks like one of those... Uh, what, what Lester the Unlikely? <laughs> That's it's like that kind of weird over animated 2D sprites. It okay. m might be it plays okay. It's kind of hard to tell. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, why Omega Omega on off 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 on is the next uh, pattern. <laughs> Did. Didn't they port Laser Shoot Larry to the, like, Switch or some weird shit? Why would they want to? Well, okay, no, because they're, they're, Nintendo is, like, easing up and they're allowing, like, like, uh, like, like, uh, risky content. Is that a proper word for that kind of content? Risky? No. Like, risque. Risque. Erotic. Yeah, because I see, I see some of that stuff, like, on the Switch store, like, uh. I know that uh, that Grimbeard was talking about. It. He's like making a joke, like going, you know, what gamers like. Shit for gamers. Okay, so the the remasters of Leisure Suit Larry were on like Windows or something. There was one game on the Switch. Oh yeah, what was the game called? I'm sorry, there were two games on the Switch: Leisure Suit Larry, Wet Dreams, Don't Dot, Don't Dry. <laughs> That's so lame. Oh crap, that that lion's gonna get me. Okay, good. Which means I think this is the third room. Uh is it the third room? Okay. I know it's not the same game, but in my mind oh, nope. Leisure Suit Larry is like one degree of separation from Meat and Fuck. Meat and Fuck oh that's that flash that old flash series. Wasn't that one of the ones that had the do you like corn? I think that was actually a parody. Okay. That because they that was basically all right. So this room is the not the one I wanted to get because I can't do anything here yet because this needs three you need three three gold bars. Here's the problem. You only have one lead gar lead. We bar. have two lead bars. Two lead bars. So there's a point to the to the to Midas's hand. You got an alchemy. Yeah, we got to... So to speak. Which is like you can turn any kind of you can turn anything into gold. Why can I whittle like a couple of stones into that correct shape? Well, I, need, I, I guess it needs to be lead. I'll know if you if you tried to like fuck it up. I haven't used my shotgun once. I probably should, but like I probably will you're for, gonna, for like, you're gonna save it until like the final level and be like nah, i'm waiting for a time i really need it and then you're never gonna get a time that you really need it i don't because i got the nin guns and they're like and they're the most efficient because it costs nothing to use all right so i don't need to be here yet what's the what's the other one if you run out of ammo with a shotgun or other on, limited on. gun do you immediately switch to your pistols um i uh, yeah or do you have to do it manually? You can, you, I think you immediately switch to your pistols. How much uh, ammo do I have for it right now? Ten. So every box contains two. They, I think they fixed that in later games. I kind of, I kind of would feel bad about like uh, about just not using the shotgun if there's more ammo for it, and I know a way. To immediately get like in like max ammo for it, but uh, that's dishonorable. If you know what I mean. Yeah. All right. Uh, Give it a peer. He deserves it. <laughs> oh, that's that room again. Okay, what's the third room? There's that. There's that. Is it over here? I guess so. Okay, middle, middle. All right, I, I know which one now. Sorry, this is taking a while. I'll uh, I'll get through it. I don't. I just the, this uh, switch mechanic of. <laughs> I'm so, I'm sorry. I was looking at something else. Uh, 
I, I there is an entry for uh, Link: The Faces of Evil. Oh yeah, for um... no one has made any achievements for it, and the first comment on the page is, "Gee, it sure is boring around here." <laughs> the memes. You I gotta... also looked up uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Also, no achievements, but uh, the game icon that they chose to use is an image of Mario tripping. <laughs> Wait, for what game? Super Smash for Brawl. Oh. Because, you know, people don't like that game as much. Because random tripping. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Random tripping. I, Damn it. I, I, I mean, you got all the dominant memes. I, memes. I got all the recessive memes. All right, what's... Your memes end here. The old man. You mean, yes, Dr. I assumed he was talking about Dr. Mario. But no, Jill probably didn't. No, I just, it was a granddad reference. I was talking about the blue shit. Oh. Yeah. Blue shell incident. Oh, yeah, it was granddad. Shit. Granddad, father of Mario and Luigi. It's the entire comment section is just people reciting the lines from the game. That's all it is. <laughs> well, nobody wants to play it. <laughs> what was the... What was the the third one that no one talks about? Uh, Zelda's Adventure. That was the FMV one. That's, it's way overpriced. Yeah. It doesn't even, That one doesn't even have an icon. Achievements. Own it, Own the copy. Because fuck it, I don't, I, nobody else can. The, uh, the Game Boy fan remake of Zelda's Adventure has achievements. Everyone's just playing that version instead. Makes sense. Uh... Why is this the creepiest room so far? I don't know. Alright. Creepier than the one with that, uh, that, like, dude's skull sitting in the corner? That, that legitimately, like, uh, like, freaked me out. What the fuck happened? Oh, that's right! You pull that out to, uh, to collapse the room. I forgot about that. <laughs> Are you still going through the the binary doors? Yeah, this is the this is the last one, and then I'll have the three bars, and I will turn them into gold, and we'll be out of uh, out of the palace, and on to uh, Greece part two. Okay, so if the hand is touching gold, and you touch the gold that the hand is touching, you do not yourself become gold. No. So I... the dude could have worn like gold gloves and eaten food. What an idiot. <laughs> I'm just thinking just of that meme of golden forks. I never thought about it like that. Every time I like make a jump, it's a crapshoot as to whether or not like can the game will the game actually allow me? Okay. There and then there. Up here. Looks like a slope that you want to spin dash off of. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. And I'm going to climb. So if Lara Croft were in something like Smash Brothers or PlayStation All-Stars, how do you think she would play? So you have her guns. Um, the dive would be a thing. But there's more? Where am I? Does she use a whip at any point in this franchise? Oh, fuck no! Okay. Just guns all the way. I, was, I, was, I had to ask. That monkey is just going ape. <laughs> Animal abuser Laura Croft. Oh, he's going that way now. He's rocking! He's afraid! Oh, he's, he's circling around. Is there another one? Where? Literally, where am I? Oh, there's a... Looks like a... Aqueduct. Yeah. Hey, they got that right. Wait, that's Roman too. 
I, I assume that your bullets do not affect, like, underwater things. They do. I just... See, look at that blood. Got him. I like how he just, he went from being underwater to floating to the top in, like, three frames. Yeah, because that's how, that's how water creatures die. They just, they just go buoyant. Instantly. It's like a balloon popping. <laughs> uh, that guy's not going to want to come out. All right, fuck it. If you kill something deep enough, it pops up like a jack-in-the-box. Up here. Out. Guns. Animals you really gotta watch for in these uh, these temple settings are the crazed spinning bandicoots. One of those come at you, fire immediately. Yeah, just shoot. Oh, that's too high. Okay. Is this a secret room? I don't know. Huh. Alright, let's go. I guess I guess we're not in a temple anymore. What what which what's this level? Talus Midas. So it is oh, a that's right. Hey, okay, not here. So fine. I'll go. I'll go somewhere else then. See if I care. Which game do you felt more realistic between this and Metal Gear Solid 1? Hmm, probably this. Metal Gear Solid 1 goes really crazy sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh? I feel like when you're not in one of those moments with, like, the psychic memory card readers, like, outside of that, it, it the atmosphere feels more realistic. I see what you mean. Or I, or, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. There's a monkey down there. Oh, there's Uzi ammo down there, though. How fast is that gonna run out? It depends. We'll we'll get an Uzi someday. Oh, and shotgun ammo. Okay. And a monkey. Why was there a sound effect? Because the monkey appeared? No, there's a secret. Oh, and a health kit. Bunch of stuff. All right. She looks like she would play similarly to how Joker uses his guns. Yeah, probably. Probably deals as much damage as guns they're... and flipping. Yeah. Like what? What else is she like known for? Does she have hand-to-hand -hand training? Um, n n no. Well, only in cutscenes. Does she ever use any kind of melee weapon, like a, a knife? No. A machete? Not not in these games. Okay. Uh, dude, I don't. Re I'm gonna level with you. I don't remember this section at all. I'm yeah. I'm in uncharted waters. I didn't know that that going through this door will take me to a, like a completely different fucking level. Do you feel like you remember levels after this one better? Oh, I remember some levels some of the time. Again, I haven't played this game in a long time. Like, okay. And then there's lions and shit down there. I'm going to try to not go down there unless I can help it. Uh... Is there another? To find... Oh, no, 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 no. A... It's just beating the shit out of you against a wall. Yeah, fuck them. All right. All right. Uh... I guess I have to go down there. Then we have to crawl back up. Can I make that jump? Probably not. Alright. Cowards. So they know how to how to move out of danger. Whatever. That jumps. 
that drop survivable? Probably. All right, fuck it. Oh, wow. Survivable, but not pleasant. I wonder how brutal the deaths in the uh, more recent games get. Like the remastered new trilogy. Uh, I played the original, like the new, the first Tomb Raider 2013. Very brutal. Uh, disturbingly so at times. They really just took, that's the only thing they wanted to take with them in the, with the, uh, remakes was, uh, hey, let's make the deaths brutal. Let's make the- I'm gonna guess they strive for more realism and she's not doing these huge acrobatics as much. Uh, her, her acrobatics were pretty decent. The fuck am I? She's moving like metal, like a twin snakes snake. Yeah, I, I can see. I can see what you mean. Okay, wait. So that leads over there and down there, but where? So confused. Okay, so this is just another way. This door is another way to get up there, and that'll eventually lead to the lead bar. All right. Okay, I see. I see what you mean, game. I get what you're laying down. Tomb Raider. You know what uh, uh, Laura Croft was originally going to be like, uh... Was when did Rip. I save? I don't think I saved in a while. Okay, I'm... That's kind of a hit, but I know where to go now. The so serendipitous I came here. I, uh... Check over here then. What was okay? Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't remember. Twin snakes. Yeah. It was like twin snakes. You said. We've, we've established that it wasn't in that aqueduct, or was it underwater in, in there, in that aqueduct? Because otherwise, if I'm climbing down, there's no other way where it could be. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to check the water underwater. But sometimes, uh, sometimes items are just underwater. Yeah, I know, you're there. Shut up. I don't know why I keep doing that. I have access to the roll. Established it's not here. It's down here, maybe. Not here. Alright. Uh... This is how I thought people like swim in real life, just how she's swimming. That's how I swim. Oh. So well, then it's a stroke, I think. Yeah. Wait, is that it? No. It's not up here. It's gotta be down there then. But that just leads to... Fascinating. Utterly fascinating. I didn't notice those before. Okay. More lions. Oh. Wait, I survived that? Holy Eerily. shit. Really? <laughs> that was... I'm... I... I should... That... That... Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna do another slot in case this is... 
Come on. Oh crap, there's another monkey. I'm gonna... Okay. Uh... Okay, there's a... Missed that medic pack. Items kind of just blend into the to the ground when like the light is a certain way so i'm just paranoid yeah. i missed it i think i didn't though here no they would if it was a key item they would have like put it on like a pedestal and be like hey here it is asshole what's up Gotta be up. It's gotta be over here. Oh shit! There you are. I'm assuming the uh, like Tomb Raider two and three are longer games than this one. Uh, Tomb Raider 2 is more linear, which means that, it, in theory, it, it should be shorter. Tomb Raider 3 is probably longer. I imagine you're... Are you feeling, uh, you feeling a bit, uh... Oh, shit. I'm just curious. Okay. Oh, I just fucked... I fucked myself royally here. Wait, I'm still alive! Hopefully not for... Oh, I got it got me. Come on. Jesus. This is... Okay, that's not good. I... Fucking... I'm utterly surprised at how much this level's kicking my ass right now. Alright, I'm gonna clear out the enemies so I don't panic, and then... You know what? Uh, I tap out. You wanna, you wanna tell me where the third bar is? <laughs> What, me? I have no idea. Look it up. <laughs> Just... What's what's this level called? Uh, Mid Palace, Midas. Palace Midas. Stella's Tomb Raider site. Stella. He's gonna he's gonna chill. One of these item pickups can only be picked up by cheating. The, okay, there's a cheat only secret in this level? Probably. Yeah, that, okay. that, that tracks. Spike room, second lead bar. You got that one. Yeah, right? I got that one. Flame room, lead bar. I got that one. Sand room slash roundabout route to temple. Okay. So it's in the sand room. I just missed it. Then. The door you go through is. O O Y Y O. Yeah, that's the one. So you're you went through that door. Yeah, I did. Go through the door, around the pillar, the center of the room, through the doorway at the back. Yeah, I did that. Uh, pulled the I pulled the thing to uh you made the ceiling collapse. Yep. Top of the aqueduct. Climb up the rocks on the right until you come out of the long doorway. There's a save crystal here. That's <laughs> one one. That's probably going to be the same. You, you can see some items in a hole below, but don't drop down yet. Okay, so I I fucked up. Then I'm gonna have to go back around and like climb and like climb up again. All right, I'm cool with that. If you look down from the aqueduct, you'll notice you're now high above the area where you killed the lions earlier. Two crocodiles swim in the aqueduct. Need to take a dip to draw them out so you can shoot them. Yes. Then swim through the tunnel. Yes. Wait, so wait, it is in that room? It's saying to go through the tunnel. Is it just telling me, hey, there's a secret here? Or is there like, hey, this is where you find the bar?
whatever. Wait, swim back through the tunnel. Return to the north end of the aqueduct where you entered the area. Then drop down to the hole with the metapack, shotgun shells, and Uzi clips. Okay, yeah, I did that in another timeline. Uh, There's the last one. Go into the dark room ahead. Wait, what? Contains many shallow alcoves. Okay, so this So from one. where the Uzi stuff was. All right, so I'm here. So here then. One of these, second on the right, contains a small medipack. Got that one. Return to the openings overlooking the area where they killed the two lions earlier. Okay. Yeah, I'm over here. And then they're going to talk about the, the medipack over there. After dealing with the gorillas, turn to face the rock wall across the gap. Long meta pack and the long horizontal crevice. Yep, I see those. Did they have... Okay. Do they want me to make a tricky jump to get to the meta pack? Uh, it... Is it necessary? No, it's not necessary, because it's just a meta pack. Well, I say that, but I need meta... I will need medical. Take the meta pack, then drop back to grab the edge and traverse all the way to the left. Okay, so... You you do know need to go across there and traverse to the left. Okay. And well, how might you want me? Oh, oh, I see. I okay. Fuck. All right. Shit. I I know what I did wrong. I. I'm glad you do, cause I don't. I know. I'm gonna have to go back to the other, uh, save. Okay. I I know exactly where I need to go. Also kind of feels like the commentary is dying down, so uh, less level. Yeah, I get you. Come on. Monkey! I got him. Okay. I didn't. I forgot. I'm glad we're past Peru in the first stream. I will probably get through Greece and onto the next uh, area, next stream. If we, if you want to do it, I. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, we can, we can do the whole game. If it's a really meaty stream, we could finish it on one more. But could be, it could be two. Let's see how it goes. It's probably gonna be two. To be quite honest with you. With mm -hmm. files this big, we're gonna have to like get a, like a Dropbox trial or something. I usually use Mega. How big does that go? Shit, I don't know. Uh, well, I was gonna say like shimmy over that way, but that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to, I'm going to have to do what they, what the game probably wants me to do, and uh, and do a weird jump, or like a long jump, which means I will have to go back down to the other save file. That killed me. Come on. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. Uh... Okay. Yeah, reg regular Mega is only 20 gigs. Oh shit. I'm way over that, because I stream for so fucking long. Yeah, well, this is our first uh, stream on your system using the uncompressed. Yeah. Or, like, the highest possible quality video. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Mm. Well, I make, can I make that? Oh, three tiles. That's going to be tricky. There's an area down there. You see those steps? Yeah. Or is that not useful? I'm gonna save and uh, and I'm gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna do the. I'm just gonna jump. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a. Uh, okay. That's not gonna work. 
Uh, I make that jump. Can I make that jump? Take a running jump to grab the flat part of the crevice at the right end. So I, the, the oh, very the... farthest right. Okay. Okay, I get it now. I. That's where it's lowest. All right. I was overthinking it. This entire time, I was like, I was being a dumbass and being like, oh, I, I can't make, I automatically think, that's my problem with playing Tomb Raider back in the day, was like, I automatically think, I can't make that jump. That's not, well, that's, that's also kind of part of game design is that if something is obviously seems impossible, you start thinking of other ideas. Yeah. As opposed to just being like, hey, Laura can, can jump really fucking far. It just... It just didn't... So now you'll have to shimmy. Yeah. You know what? This is progress. Oh, you hungry? <laughs> I'm just teasing him. Looks like fresh meat's back on the menu, boys. You've been eating nothing but insects for years. Two bats. Two or one? Guy says two. Okay. Unless they added a bat in PS PS one. Just save again. So glad I'm. I'm... All right, you can stop looking at the guide now. Thanks. Thanks for pointing me in the right direction. Why is this one the most like involved route? I was expecting like another like just random. I feel like you would suggest to Laura that she just use, like, ingot-shaped rocks, and she would just smack herself on the forehead. Yeah. It's like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Well, so bloody to, stupid! Do we need to make ingot-shaped rocks? That's like a Taskmaster solution. Get the yeah. three get the three ingots, you have... You tur your time starts now, and then... Probably, uh... Oh, I hit the wrong button. There are those... Oh, it's water. Will, will any substance work? All the information... I have, this, I have this can of SpaghettiOs. What if I mold it into an ingot shape? That was beans. Okay. ProZD did a video recently where he uh, sampled 12 different types of Chef Boyardee. Oh, yeah? It was about as unimpressed as you were expecting. Chef Boyardee, it's the fucking... Garb it's garbage food. Where, where am I now? I guess I'm in the we're right on place. Ledge? Oh, we're on the ledge of the pool room. Okay, and we were Why above the pool room. That's in the rafters. The lions are in the rafters. Why is there a comedy trumpet? Soundtrack in this game is kind of limited. Okay, whatever. The music's not bad when it does happen. Yeah. I feel like they put budget into having a good soundtrack, but they can only afford a few tracks, so they can't play them constantly. <laughs> we have to be conservative with when we play our music. Well, I mean, you have a game, you don't get a sequel. Okay, and then we're over here, and then... One more jump, and then and then we should be getting the uh, the uh, ingot. You said this game is is uh, like super glitchy. What, what does a speed run look like? Um, clipping, clipping, Lots and clipping. Uh, and zips upward. I have no idea where this. <laughs> this is just completely alien. You don't remember any of this. This isn't an adventure. Still hearing those ghost crowds. The echoes of uh of the Colosseum's past. Am I close? Up oh, no! <laughs> and then she tripped. <laughs> I'm fine, it's fine. That was that was another timeline. Is the is it on top of the fucking Okay, back in the water. How did this water get here? I don't know. Maybe they filled it. It's part of the aqueduct, and then some of it collapsed. 
Well, how did this crocodile get here? It it migrated. I don't know. <laughs> did the animals here? Okay, and there's more lions there's down more there. Rafter lions. Rafter lions. All uh, it was up here the entire time. Okay. Are those the same lions or are they different lions? Oh my god. How many god. lions live here? <laughs> so they, they're imported from the Colosseum. You know, the Greek Colosseum. God. <laughs> this is... Come on! Okay. The Lions and the Monkey Alliance. We vowed to protect this temple and by God. Gonna save? Yeah, I probably should. This is, I think so far, I think this is the hardest level so far. Like, uh, Francis's Folly was pretty easy, then Colosseum, and then... And then Palace Midas is, I think, like, the one that's just, like, really... What? I'm out of range. Okay. Can you, you tell Pierre's not really fucking with us so much here? He's just, is like, he's just content to just sit back and, like, and, like, laugh. Right. I want to go back to the hand and then find a golden statue of Pierre. <laughs> that's the last we see of him. That'd be funny. Uh, unfortunately, it's, uh... Okay. So now we gotta find the hand room. Um, it's around... It's in this area. I'm trying to remember... that here? How many goddamn lions?! We were just in here, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Going this way. There. Was it not in here? Was it somewhere else? Mm hmm. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was probably in the other side. Okay, I, rem I, I remember now. It's in the garden area. It means it's this way. Makes you nervous, doesn't it, whenever I do the dive? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Are there more enemies here? The gardens get replenished? Jack Anderson. Hates mazes. Loves Tomb Raider. <laughs> I just have a sense of exploration here. It's not, like, featureless. There's, like... I don't know. I guess mazes were compared... I compared mazes to Tomb Raider, and none of them, like, mat like stuck, matched up. I wonder what this room was. It was like a forum? It's an arbitorium? Yeah, forum. Yeah, that... Okay, it's got like a, it's got like a pedestal for a speaker. Oh yeah, they were the speaker which was King Midas's palace. They made a statue and the statue could turn things into gold. That in and of itself would be pretty impressive. Hey, music's playing again. Okay, save again in case I accidentally touch the statue. I wonder. Actually, what if I were to... No? Okay. It's only the palm. Okay, that doesn't... Do I need to do this three times in a row? Yes, I do. Thanks, game. Uh, struggling to lift that lead even though she's been walking around with three of them. Yeah. Oh. It's just they can't really show like the process, I guess. So. Just have her hands sparkle. They'll figure it out. <laughs> it's 
the time when I was a kid when I was just like obsessed with that like turning into gold death animation. And at one point, my mom was just looking, going, "Oh my god!" And I'm like, and she's like, "That's horrible!" And she just walked away and just let me continue playing the game. Uh, all right, save again. Saving way too much. I'm like seven levels in. I've got 70 save points. I'm not a true Tomb Raider. But you know what I am? I am a true, uh, like, uh, person on Safari because I killed all the animals. Right. I think this is the first level I can say is just, like, was just, like, really open and involved. They really put their whole ass into this level. There's a lot to it. Oh, yeah, it's just... It's a very involved level. Um, we want the one that's over here. I did not Remember expect... Remember level one when our goal was just walk to the other side of a tunnel? Yeah. City of Vilkbamba. Get the golden idol and a key. Okay, yeah. Other ends. Go up... Four switches. We're almost done with this level. And we got two more grease levels, and that's it. Okay. All right. I hope you're. I hope you you're ready to say farewell to this tile set because there's actually a different tile set that that's uh, the next couple of levels. I will see. Are you still there? Yeah. All right. Gold. What what do you, what do you see your your favorite level is of the Greek section? <laughs> In terms of sheer, like, like what you've seen, uh, I did. This one's probably the most interesting, but I yeah. wouldn't want to play it. I know you. This is. I know this isn't your game. Your kind of game. The folly was just fucking stupid. <laughs> Forty-five minutes. We almost an hour was spent on this level. One I think. Level. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that was the longest in the game, or is there, like, uh, what's there, to come? I think I think this level is, like, shorter, and then the, the level after that might be shorter. I like to think that these levels get progressively longer, but let me just take in the ambience a little bit. Anyway. All right, yeah, so I think we can get, we'll get through, uh, I think it might take, like, about an hour to get through the final two Greek levels, and then we'll start on the final section. And then there's three more levels I after that. Um the Greek the, the the section after the Greek section is the one I know the I remember the least about, so I might have to get a refresher just so we can get things moving along. Yeah. Alright. According to the achievements, there was fifteen levels total. Oh so. fifteen? Okay, so and we're on eight right now. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. Okay, so the, so the level after... The section after this is uh, three levels, which means that Greece is the longest section of the game, unless the other three levels are, like, really involved. Yeah. Yeah, so so maybe one more stream of this, and then and then we'll be done with it. And I can... We'll see. Yeah. All right, well, uh, let me... Zoom out. He's gonna be jumping for a bit. Jumpy, right. jumpy jump. Thank you for joining me. It was about four... It was four hours of, uh, of Tomb Raider. This is a game. This is a nice, nice, relaxing game. I just, I just sit back and I think about what's gonna happen, and then we go through it. All right. I'll see you all next time.